We have an attachment for every project. Just call. We rent trailers upon availability, and delivery is available. Ask about our rent-to-own program. See our full Bobcat rental inventory at bobcatofmandan.com. Everything you need to get the job done. Bobcat of Mandan. At the Kramer Agency, we have the privilege of serving our community by helping businesses and individuals protect what matters most. That's why we're proud to be your locally owned independent insurance agency. As an independent insurance agency, we work with the industry's leading insurance companies and provide our clients a better experience and a better value. For auto, home, business, bonds, life and health insurance, think the Kramer Agency. See us at our new location at 232 West Century. Agency, your At SunTracker, we know the most precious memories are those spent together. From sharing the joys of fishing, to watching the grandkids wipe out on a tube, spending the day just relaxing with your significant other, or laughing away the evening with your friends. These are the moments you'll remember forever, and they're all made possible by SunTracker. Find the full lineup at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. You love your car, and when you get in an accident, you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new. We're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Find out for yourself. In southwestern and south central North Dakota, on any given day at any given moment, a Dakota Community Bank and Trust customer is logging in or signing on to do their online or mobile banking. We believe that community banking can blend both the past with down-home customer service in-house and the future with modern banking conveniences and technology for our customers anywhere, like here or here, all while honoring our long-standing tradition of community-first oriented banking here at Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Getting that perfect slice is satisfying, fulfilling, and rewarding too. But we don't do it for fun. We do it for fresh. Slice to order makes a sub above. Many of our clients come to us already accomplished in their lives and on the right track. However, whether it's in response to a life-changing event or you are nearing retirement, you can sleep well knowing that together we have planned for both life's opportunities and challenges. And no matter what happens, we are here to help guide you. Hi guys, what can I get you guys today? I don't know what to order. Would you like to hear the story of how I learned what to order? Whoa, what is that? That's called a big rig, little lady, and that's the best dead gum meal here at Shots Crossroads. Now wait just a gall darn minute, Harry. You know darn well the best thing about Shots is breakfast. A 99 is how it's done. You mean a 109? No, I don't. The real pros know that it starts with dessert. No matter what you get, everything begins with a caramel roll. Hey, little dude. The truth is, there's a lot of right answers on this menu. My favorite is the golden crispy chicken strips and crinkle cuff fries. Just listen to your heart, and you can't go wrong. Now go make that order, bud. Oh, hey, kid, whatever you do, don't forget the ranch. So what you're saying is, as long as I follow my heart, I can't make a wrong choice? No, kid. The point of the story is order whatever you want. All right. I'll take a big rig, a 99, a 109, an order of chicken strips with crispy fries, and I take a karma roll to start with, please. Wait, and don't forget the ranch. This goes? I don't know. Are you sure it was a clicking and not a zoo, zoo? I think your quash litter bell stuck. Do you even have insurance? If we soak it, so it should be good. <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle, trust the experts at Tires Plus. Real answers 
from Real Mechanics. Inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition. Thinking service, think Tires Plus. But Simon, what about mold? Agent Marlon Old. He holds the world record for fastest mold remediation. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Udoba, Jersey Mike Stubbs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Crestwich Orthodontics, Hub International, The UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, Bibetto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, Serve Pro, BNC National Bank. Shields. Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network. It's game day. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Qdoba, Jersey Mike Stubbs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Crestwich Orthodontics, Hub International, The UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, 
by Beto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots. Finding the right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. The hopes of being one of the eight teams in North Dakota to represent their respective regions at the State B Basketball Tournaments are still alive for eight teams inside of region number six. Good afternoon and welcome in to our Shields pregame show for the region six boys basketball tournament. Let's go down courtside to Steve Pinnow, the voice of the Region 6 tournament for today's official introduction to the singing of our nation's national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. God bless our servicemen and women. God bless our veterans. God bless America. Wow. What a voice there, wasn't it? My goodness. God bless all those veterans and servicemen and women. God bless our beautiful country. We're here for the Region 6 Tournament. Quarterfinal matchup. Let's take a look at the boys' bracket coming into this showdown here today at the MSU Dome. 
on the campus of Modern State University. Bishop Ryan, the number one team on a district number 12, takes on number four, Botno from district number 11. Velva took second inside of district number 11. They take on MLS, the number three seed from district 12. West Hope Newber and Broughton and Company, the number one seed from the district number 11 tournament, taking on number four, Ari Deemers, here tonight from district 12. DLB, number two, receiving some votes in North Dakota. Inside of District 12, they lost to Ryan in the title game. They take on number three, TGU, here tonight. There's tonight's starting lineups. Uh, tonight's Region 6 tournament. Let's go down to the floor for today's starting lineups. And Steve Pinnell. And now the starting lineups for your first Region 6 tournament. At one guard for the Braves, up five, foot 11, sophomore, number two, Carson Hare. At the point guard for the Lions, he's a five, foot 11, senior, number one, Carson Burke. At the other guard for the Braves, up five, foot 11, junior, number 10, Taylor Christensen. And the other guard of the Lions, a six foot four senior, number 11, Ian Johnson. One forward of the Braves is a six foot two senior, number 12, Ryder Holman. And the Lion forward, a six foot two senior, number three, Brady Feller. The other power forward position for the Braves, a six foot four senior, number 21, Gabe Nero. And the other forward for the Lions is a six foot two senior, number five, Connor Thompson. The big man in the middle for the Braves, a six foot three sophomore, number 55, Bud Wilkie. And the center of the Lions. Six foot six sophomore, number 42, Ramsey Wall. The Braves are head coached by seven, Kevin St. Clair, assisted by Zach Keller and Derek Chase. The Lions are head coached by Brody Wash, assisted by. Well, Kyle. there you have it, our official starting lineups, courtesy of Steve Pinnow, down on the floor here at the MSU Dome. The Botno Braves will be in purple today. The Bishop Ryan Lions ranked number two and number three throughout the year in North Dakota. Currently sitting number three will be in their whites. Nick Holberg on the call here from the MSU Dome today. Glad to have you folks aboard. Welcome in to Region 6 tournament time as everybody looking for that one spot coming out of Region number six to head to the state class B tournament coming up at the event center in Bismarck. Not this weekend, but next. Let's put a cap on our Shields pregame show here today. Shields of Monet and Bismarck has everything you need from sporting goods to fishing gear, clothing and fashion, you name it. It's Shields of Monet and Bismarck that brought you the pregame show today. We are underway from the MSU Dome for North Dakota High School Basketball and Region 6 tournament coverage. Ball's handled here by Ian Johnson. Sends it inside to Feller, senior athlete of the year inside of district number 12. Gets it to roll, and Feller's got his first two points of the ball game. He's been a special player for Bishop Ryan here in his high school career. Look for him to be big in this tournament as the Lions are favored to go all the way to the state dance. Ball comes up top where it's going to be handled here now by Ryder Pullman. Pullman puts it off the window and scores, and Pullman's got his first points of the ball game. Carson Merck across the timeline. Merck's going to send it off to Feller here. Feller's got it. Goes back away up top. Now it's Merck. Dribble drive move. Merck puts it off the window. No good. Who touched it last? They're going to say it went off of Botno and Bud Wilkie. Bishop Ryan, a team coming into this tournament, only with two losses on their season. And those two losses came to some Solid opponents, they lost to Trinity on the year. They also lost to Thompson. That was at the Holiday Classic here at the MSU Dome right after Christmas time. Here's the leak out. Feller by himself, goes up, lays it in, and Brady Feller has four here for Bishop Ryan. 4-2 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. 
Bishop Ryan Lions on top. Big thanks to United Community Bank bringing you tournament coverage of region number six along with Swenson, RV and Marine and Jerome's Collision Center here in the Magic City and some others helping out with tournament coverage. Feller gets it off, goes down to Merck and Merck's gonna handle here. Merck sends it back over to the far side. Inside look, up off the window. That was executed Ramsey nicely and Ramsey Walls. Walls has his first two points of the bowl game. Busy week on the PSP Network this week. We've got Region 6 and Region 5 coverage for you fans. Also got the Super A coming your way from the, uh, the Fargo, the Fargo Dome in the great city of Fargo coming up this week. It's gonna be a busy night on Thursday. We'll have four live broadcasts for you folks. Digital radio coverage of the opening round of the state Super A for the girls and the boys. Every game inside of the Super A. We'll also have coverage of the championships of region six and five of those third place games as well. Botno had the opportunity they missed on the attempt. Now a deep three coming. That one's off the mark. Comes up now to Merck. Now Feller downtown. He misses. Rebound pulled out by Bud Wilkie. And Wilkie carries it back across here now for the Botno Braves. This is Carson Hare with a special player here for the Braves. Hare goes right to the serve pro free throw line. Now he's going to dribble it out. Kicks it up top. Board comes away now to Pullman. Back inside the lane, came away there to Nero. Nero delivers back off here, off to Hare. Hare jump shot, he's gonna be fouled. And he'll have two shots coming here as Merck is gonna be charged with his first personal. And that's the first foul of today's ball game. Off to the Sir Pro free throw line goes Carson Hare. 5'11 junior. Looks to pull the Braves back within three here and he nets his first. Jet Lundin checks, in, the ball game. Jet checks in here for the Bishop Ryan Lions. Second on its way here for Hare. He nailed it. Botno within two. Number four seed out of district number 11, Botno taking on the number one seed out of district number 12, Bishop Ryan here in the showdown today. Inside, the battle on the glass. Pulled down the big man in the middle. Wilkie takes it down, and now there's gonna be a foul charged inside, and it's gonna be on Wilkie. And Bud Wilkie picks up his first personal. First team fall. Sends Ramsey Walls to the serve pro free throw line. He's got two points so far here in the ball game. 24-7 emergency service with trained technicians and advanced technology at ServPro. Locations in Western North Dakota for fire and water cleanup and restoration. Big thanks again to ServPro for being a proud supporter of the PSP network all season long. Walls drains his second. He goes 50% from the ServPro stripe. And Bishop Ryan has a 7-4 lead here in the first quarter. Bud Wilkie with it. Bud goes back up top where he delivers off now to Taylor Christensen. Ball was stripped inside from Jet Lundin. Lundin goes down, Walls kisses it off the glass and scores. Five now for Ramsey Walls here in the ballgame. We've got a timeout on the floor. Botna wants to talk things over. It's a Hobbit or National Insurance. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a break as well. Bishop Ryan's got themselves a five point lead. goes i don't know are you sure it was a clicking and not a zoo, zoo? i think your quash litter bell stuck do you even have insurance if we soak it so it should be good <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle trust the experts at tires plus real answers from real mechanics inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition thinking service think tires plus 
Fondo's got the basketball. They're down by five here with 4.07 to play in the opening quarter. Connor Thompson back into the game. Connor Thompson will check back in. Fondo turns the ball over here. Today's game brought to you in part by our friends at Planet Pizza. Planet Pizza proudly serving the Magic City for 25 years with the largest laser tank playground in the region. It's Planet Pizza, mouth watering pizza, breadsticks, chicken wings, you name it. Planet Pizza brings you the showdown here tonight. They'll deliver if you're in the Magic City, 701 852 1700. Ramsey Walls went inside off the feed from Feller, but he's fouled by the big man, Bud Wilkie, in deep. Wilkie's going to pick up his second personal. Wilkie, the six foot three sophomore here for the Botno Braves. Ball's going to be put into play here by Feller. Two Feller, I should say. That one kicked in up top off of Connor Thompson. And it's Feller that goes up, caught the bucket, and he's fouled. As Brady Feller continues to impress, he's got six here in the ball game with a chance for seven now as he goes to the old fashioned three point play in the line brought to you by Serb Pro. Foul was charged on Botno's Ryder Pullman. Pullman picks up his first, that's the third team foul. And Feller from the Serb Pro line, the senior athlete of the year for district number 12, didn't miss. Ball comes back up. Goes away now to Taylor Christensen. Delivered back off here to Hare. Hare delivers on the dribble drive move. He's going to be blocked on the play. Burke slammed the door, and here come the Lions with Jet Lundin. Lundin dribbles down, gives it off Feller. Inside look, and Brady, Brady Feller's got Feller. the motor turning now. Feller picks up another. That's his fourth field goal here in the ballgame. He's got nine of the 14 for Bishop Ryan. Outside, three attempt, air balled over the far corner off the miss from Pullman. Jet Lundin brings it back across the timeline. Pulls up, three land, off the front of the rim. Rebound pulled down here by the Braves. They're going to carry it off ahead here from Christian Sid. Pull up, three attempt coming. That one too strong there from Hare. Rebound taken here by the Braves, and it's Pullman back up. Into the hands here of Marum. Marum delivers. To dribbles over towards the left side. It's going to be taken inside with a jump basketball as Ramsey Walls had the hands on the ball and Ramsey Walls will get the ball back for the Bishop Ryan Lions. 10 point lead, 14-4 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Big thanks again to all you fans for joining us here on the PSP Network for this showdown this afternoon. Every game of the Region 5 and 6 tournament live on the PSP Network. Nick Holberg on the call here today. We'll have Scott Cattell coming in on Thursday to call the region championship. Nice look inside. Oh, just couldn't get it to fall there for Nero. Comes down now here for Merck, and Merck sends it back up where he goes off to Jet Lundin. Lundin's got it off to Merck. Up top, Thompson way downtown, hit the front of the rim, and the board pulled down here by Pullman, and Pullman carries it back across where it goes now to Hare. Hare's got it here. He's going to be tripped up on the play. No foul there as he just stepped out of the feet of Carson Merck and lost the basketball. Today's game also brought to you by the UPS Store located on South Broadway in the Magic City. It's the UPS Store for all your packing and shipping needs. The UPS Store located in the Marketplace Foods Plaza. It's the UPS Store. Merck off down to Lundin. Lundin. Carried it ahead, but there's a foul charged away from the basketball. That's going to be on Brett McKay. And Brett McKay picks up his first personal. Second foul here on the Lions. Carson Merck has the other. And it's the Lions that still have a 10-point lead. PSP Network just got done wrapping up the WDA basketball tournament. Congratulations to the Minot Majet Sun, winning their first region title since 2001. The defending state champions took down an undefeated Bismarck Century team. Three attempt from the quarter, no good from Pullman. Pulled down. Here come the Lions back the other direction. Little shot off, no good. Walls there, cleans it up, and Ramsey Walls goes up and picks up his seventh here in the ball game. Congratulations to the Century Patriots. They knocked off Minot to a classic of the WDA championship game, halting Minot High from being the West Region champions for the third straight year. 
Not without an effort from Derek Descent, however, the Bonnet High standout, who, my mind, is a shoe in for Mr. Basketball here in 2023. He had 25 points in the final six minutes alone of that West Region Championship game, or 23 of his 25 in the last six minutes. 25 in the second half. Let me start that over. In the second half, Derek Descent had 25 total points, 23 of which came in the final six minutes. Added five of that first half of that ball game. He was on fire that night. There's an alley-oop attempt that came up for Walls. He just missed. Now to a minute 15 to play here in the first quarter. Bishop Bryan up early here in this ball game. Lions fans come to volume here as checking into the ball game. Hayden C. Hayden Say checking in. Thank you very much, Jenny. Big thanks again to Jenny Beater being here running our camera for the Region 6 tournament. She's had a workout here this tournament season. We can't thank her enough, the entire Beater family, for what they do for PSP Network. Two shots on its way here from the Serb Pro free throw line. Stepping up to the line will be Taylor Christensen. Thompson's going to be charged with his first here of the ball game. Connor Thompson picks up the third team foul here for Bishop Ryan. Christensen from the line hits the first. Six foot tall junior here for the Botno Braves. Goes two for two from the free throw line. Botno's got six points on the board, four of which come from the serve pro stripe where they haven't missed. Ball's up top down to Brady Feller. Feller's got it here, dishes back up top. Around the perimeter it comes where it goes back into the hands here for Ian Johnson. Down to the corner, Johnson gets it back. Good defense there, taken away by Hare. And Hare's gonna go coast to coast, one on three. Look out, Thompson went up and slammed the door on him, but he committed the foul as he did not get all basketball. Foul's gonna be on number five, Connor Thompson. Back to back fouls for him. Sends Carson Hare to the serve pro line again, and Hare two for two here in this ball game from the serve pro stripe. Misses on the third attempt. Serve pro 24 7 emergency service with trained technicians and advanced technologies. It's serve pro. You look at how Botno got into this tournament. They had to take down a rugby team to eliminate rugby on the season 55 47 rugby their first miss here at the region dance since 2009. Harris now three for four 75 percent to the first quarter from the serve pro stripe 16 7 on the bnc national bank scoreboard lions the number three ranked team in north dakota have the lead shot clocks off as we're under 30 seconds to play here in our first quarter Quarterback of the football team, Jet Lundin's got it between the legs. He's hounded heavily there, kicks it off. Now around the horn it comes. This is a three attempt on the mark, no good there. That one missed from Johnson. And who did it touch last underneath the hoop? It went off of Brett McKay, and it will be Botno basketball. Here on the inbound play for Taylor Christensen sends it off ahead. There's a chance for this one on the Hail Mary attempt. No good there. It misses 16-7. Bishop Ryan leads at the end of one quarter of play on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Nitro, built for speed, built to fish, built to be a champion. America's favorite performance fishing boat. The Nitro Z Series, the Z17, Z18, Z19, and Z20 are built on our advanced NVT hull. And the Z21, the choice of the world's finest anglers. Recognized for excellence and customer satisfaction by its owners for six consecutive years. Nitro, champions aren't born, they're made. Find the full lineup at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck. 
or online, SwensonRV.com. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Second half underway here from the MSU Dome. Bishop Ryan on top of Botno 16-7. Turnaround jump shot. Oh, that was pure Brady Feller. He's got 11 now in the ball game to pace all scorers, and it's 18-7 Lions. Travel the violation as it came into the hands of Bud Wilkie. Wilkie had the suitcase violation of Bishop Ryan will inbound here. Well, it's going to take a lot to hang with Bishop Ryan, ranked number two inside of, sorry, I keep saying that, ranked number three inside the state of North Dakota. Here in this tournament, travel violation on Ramsey Walls, and the ball goes back now here to Botno. Botno's head coach, Kevin St. Clair, saying just slow down just a bit here. Everybody relax. It's not over yet. Work the offense and chip into this 18-7 lead. They try to do so now as it's worked up top. At the elbow, taken up at the top of the umbrella. Christensen tried to work it inside, went off a hair and out of play. And the stingy defense again for the Lions shuts the door. Seven minutes, four seconds to play here in the first half of basketball. This game brought to you in part by our friends at Prestwich Orthodontics. Confidence in your smile and your game is a win-win at Prestwich Orthodontics. Virtual consultations and financing options make Prestwich a win-win. A bye-bye at Prestwich Orthodontics. Can be found online, braces.com. It's Prestwich Orthodontics. Here come the Braves back across the timeline. 18-7 here in this opening half of basketball. Bishop Ryan's got the lead. Worked up top again, down to Hare. Hare inside, tried to push it free and touch two last. They're going to say it went off a of feller. Todd Hoffman had the call down on the baseline. Big thanks to United Tribes Technical College and the University of Jamestown bringing us the action here today at the MSU Dome. Ball comes back away now to Burke. Kicked off on the far wing. Take it here by Merck. Into the lane. Merck throws it up off the glass. That one just missed. Comes back away now to Hare, and Hare's got it here. Hare with a spin move, turnaround, jump shot off the front of the rim. And the ball comes back away now to Feller. 6.05, ticking down first half of basketball. Feller step back three. Nobody's hit a three yet. Gets his own rebound, lays it off, no good. And the ball comes back away to the far sideline. Will be Botno basketball. Back into the game for the Braves for the first time, Connor Radke. Connor Radke comes into the game for the first time here tonight for Botno. Botno went three and four inside of the region, four and four inside of district number 11. Come in as that number four seed. We talked about them upsetting rugby 55-47 in the region qualifying game. Botno, another turnover there as that one goes off a hair and out of play. 5.40 ticks down. First half. Merck with it. Up top. Worked across from Ian Johnson. Up to Walls. Now Merck again. Bishop Ryan won this tournament last year. They got back to the state B. They've been a powerhouse inside of Class B basketball inside of Region 6 for years. Up off the glass and Brett in. McCain. Brett McCain's got his first two points of the ball game. Three different scores into the book here for Bishop Ryan. All scores led by Brady Feller, who's got 11 here in this showdown. Block inside. Now Bishop yeah, Ryan is going to make a substitution here. Lorba just comes in again with Lundeen. Checking out for the Braves goes Nero. And Botno will bring in number 23, Connor Radke. Get the other number for you. I apologize. Up off the window. That one just missed. 
Other direction we go now here for Feller. Eurostep move, put it up, always oh, blocked. Radke slammed the door on him. Hold it back in here for Botno. We're gonna have a timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. Full timeout here with 4.49 left in our opening half. 13 point lead, Bishop Ryan on top of the Botno Braves at the MSU Dome. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. High right, zoom. Spider 2, wide banana. You don't like that one? Okay. High right, 40 power. Wow. Don't want that one either? All right, go kick off. Get out of here. Let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Many of our clients come to us already accomplished in their lives and on the right track. However, whether it's in response to a life-changing event or you are nearing retirement, you can sleep well knowing that together we have planned for both life's opportunities and challenges. And no matter what happens, we are here to help guide you. Brought to you by our friends at United Community Bank, Jerome's Collision Center, and also our friends at Swenson RV and Marie. They bring you tournament coverage of the Region 6 again. Lorma Just gets the rebound there after the miss. Went over to Jet Lundin and out of play. Down to 435 to play opening half. Hare's going to carry the basketball across the timeline. Air hounded there, gets it off now into the hands of Pullman. Pullman up top, sends it around again, goes away now to Christensen, and Christensen's got it now over to the far side wing. Crashing in, putting it up. Oh, there's some points for Mondo as Ryder Pullman's got his second field goal. Had to do that one the hard way, and the Braves cut the lead down to 11. Comes here to Lundin. Back off it comes, up top here for Merck. Sends it inside, Feller skies up after it. Feller puts it high up off the glass. He's gonna be fouled on the play. Call came inside there from Dan Yale. Calls on Connor Radke. His First one on Connor Radke here for Bondo. Fourth team foul, each team with four team fouls here in this ball game. Inside feed there to Merck off the inbound and Carson Merck has his first two points here of the region six quarterfinals. Back behind the back it comes down Taylor Christensen. Christensen trying to carry in, dropped off here to the big man. Jump shot's good, but Wilkie's got his first two points. Four scorers of the books now here for Botno. Down by 11. Feller again on the window, couldn't put, couldn't quite put that one in. Comes back now here to Botno, and they carry back across here with Hare. Into the lane it comes. Back up, Hare's got it into traffic. Lundin stripped it from him. Off to Feller. Feller goes coast to coast, puts it up, had the move. Comes down to Walls off the window, and Ramsey Walls Ramsey adds two more. That's nine now for Ramsey Walls. And Bishop Ryan leads 24-11 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Spin move here, nice one, put it up, no good. Lundin was inside the arc with the feet planted and it's gonna be charged to Jet Lundin here. Jet Lundin. Jet Lundin picking up his first personal. And Hare goes back to the serve pro stripe for his fifth shot of the ball game here from the serve pro free throw line. Nothing but that. Sir Pro 24 7 emergency service with trained technicians and advanced technologies at Sir Pro. Great to see our good friends James Jackson from the Monet Daily News sitting right to my right here today at the MSU Dome. Great seeing you, brother. Get to spend quite a bit of time with James Jackson during, during tournament time. 
I've been slamming Red Bulls this entire tournament season. He brought me a monster energy today, the, the Cosmic Peach, it's called. A nitro monster energy, I'm telling you. I start floating around the gym here today. You better reel me in, James. Here is a little jump shot off the side of the rim, no good. Three attempt, no good. Ball comes back away now to Feller. Feller's gonna push it up the floor. Too far in front of Ramsey Walls. Lead at 12 here for Bishop Ryan as they turn the ball over. Botno with possession now, they're gonna handle here. Hare takes the call from Kevin St. Clair, the head coach of the Botno Braves. Down to 210 to play first half. Up top with it, Christensen. Christensen into the paint. Foul away from the basketball. Well Jet Lundin picks up his second. Brett McKay back on the floor. Brett McKay checks in. Jet Lundin will check out. Lundin goes past Brody Bosch, the back to back coach of the year in Santa District number 12. Off the window, there's some points for Hare. And Carson Hare has his first field goal of the ball game. He does have six. He's done it from the Serb Pro free throw line here in this ball game. Ball sent off of Merck. Down to the end line it went, and that one went right past the intended target. Feller down a deep. And now we're going to have a timeout here for Bishop Ryan. Lead cut to 10. Bishop Ryan still on top, but Botno's got a little momentum here in this ball game. Shots, honestly, it just the shots came to me. Derek and Eric especially had some great drives, you know, which led some great kicks. Shout out to them. You know, it feels good. For you to come out here from a defensive effort against Eagle staff, I mean, you're way smaller than him. Obviously, I mean, how did you get yourself pumped up for that? Well, you know, Coach has a thing that says, Height doesn't matter your heart, and I strongly believe in that. You know, I got the heart, and it doesn't matter if I got the height or not. That line, good luck next week. Yeah, yeah. All right, great job. I don't have the height, but I got the heart. That was a pretty cool sign right there by Jagger Gundo. Back up to you guys. Yes, and now. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Ten-point lead here for the Bishop Ryan Lions. Botno's got possession, however, here with Hare. Tried to cut into the lead now here for the Botno Braves. Three attempt off the mark. Nobody's hit a three-pointer yet here in this first half. Plenty of attempts. We'll have the full stat recap coming in our premier chiropractic halftime report coming up in a minute to 19 seconds. Here's a three on its way. Swish. Ian Johnson. Ian Johnson gets into the book with a three-pointer. Lead back to 13 now for the Lions. Hair off to the corner. This is Christensen from downtown. Taylor. Bosch called the timeout and afterwards we see the teams come alive just a little bit. It's been a bit of a sloppy ball game early on here in this showdown today. Feller off the mark. No good. Walls in after it. Walls sends it back into the paint. Back up top. Merck thought about it. Goes down over to the block. Sent inside. Give it go there. And Ian Johnson puts it up and in for back to back points. 30 seconds to play first half. Mondo with possession. Feller comes up and slams the door on Hare. He says, I don't think so. The Lions look for the final shot here in the first half. Merck off to Ramsey Walls, back to Merck. Then Walls gets it again. They played catch. Now they toss it off here to Feller. Feller step back, three-pointer on its way. You betcha. Feller from downtown, and he's fouled. And Brady Feller goes to the Serb Pro free throw line. There with five seconds to play in the opening half of this would be for four points.
32 17 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard as the Lions blow it open just a bit at the end of our first half here as Feller had the big step back three. Couldn't convert on the four point play. Underneath the hoop it comes. Walls tried to throw it up. We are through one half of basketball. Brady Feller, the senior athlete of the year for district number 12 with a big play at the end of our first half. As the Lions up big, 32-17 at the end of one half play. Information on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, the Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Qdoba, Jersey Mike Subs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Presswich Orthodontics, Hub International, The UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, Vibeto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, Serve Pro, BNC National Bank, Shields. Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. This tournament coverage on the PSP Network is brought to you by Prairie Coatings, Tyler Hagen Photography, Bobcat of Mandan, Thomas Family Funeral Home, Raging Rivers, get excited for the 23 season, Go Promo, First International Bank and Trust, Swenson RV and Marine, the Kramer Agency and Jerome's Collision Center. Make sure to like and follow the PSP Network on all social media platforms. Looking to rent quality brand equipment for a project by the day, week, or month? At Bobcat of Mandan, we have the equipment you need to do any job for as long as you need it. Check out our entire fleet of skid steers, track loaders, excavators, tractors, and zero-turn mowers. We have an attachment for every project. Just call. We rent trailers upon availability, and delivery is available. Ask about our rent-to-own program. See our full Bobcat rental inventory at bobcatofmandan.com. Everything you need to get the job done. Bobcat of Mandan. At the Kramer Agency, we have the privilege of serving our community by helping businesses and individuals protect what matters most. That's why we're proud to be your locally owned independent insurance agency. As an independent insurance agency, we work with the industry's leading insurance companies and provide our clients a better experience and a better value. For auto, home, business, bonds, life and health insurance, think the Kramer Agency. See us at our new location at 232 West Century. Agency, your At SunTracker, we know the most precious memories are those spent together. From sharing the joys of fishing, to watching the grandkids wipe out on a tube, spending the day just relaxing with your significant other, or laughing away the evening with your friends. These are the moments you'll remember forever, and they're all made possible by SunTracker. Find the full lineup at Swenson RV and Marine in Monet and Bismarck or online, swensonrv.com. You love your car. 
And when you get in an accident, you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new. We're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Find out for yourself. The magic of what we do really comes down to combining different aspects of patient care. Here at Premier Chiropractic, we love combining soft tissue work, the adjustment, and exercises together. We found that this gets the best results for our patients. We have three chiropractors to fit the needs of the entire family, a rehab area for our exercises and equipment for any athlete to improve performance. Give us a call and we will get you back to doing what you love. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers moving in storage. I'm a grateful person on a lot of levels. I've been given so many great opportunities. But most of all, even as a little kid, I was taught a set of values. Like tools for life, hard work, responsibility, and the key to making it all work, commitment. First Western Bank and Trust, you can bank on us. Ackerman Svold, your neighbors, friends, and family who are working for you. The local team with local availability and accountability for all of your engineering, architecture, environmental, transportation, and land development needs. Your project can rely on Ackerman Svold. Find them online at ackermansvold.com. When you start your project, talk with Ackerman Surveying and Associates. Our experienced surveying team guides you in the right direction with planning, planning, and lot and boundary surveys. The trusted name in land surveying, the trusted name in architecture and engineering is Ackerman Survey and Ackerman Svold. Find them at ackermansvold.com. What you're witnessing actually happens. This is a sad story about bad math. Bad math? Does your online company include mounting? You can't beat the online pricing. When you have the mounting, the shipping, and all the extras, it's just simple math. We guarantee the lowest prices. Our plus plan is simply better, a less expensive way to buy tires. Thinking tires, think tires plus. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. I ride Zoom, Spider 2 Y Banana. You don't like that one, okay. I write 40 power. No. You don't want that one either? No. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? <laughs> Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off! Seven, pressure, points, yeah! It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot! Right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. Premier Chiropractic Halftime Report underway. 32-17, Bishop Ryan in the driver's seat to this quarterfinal matchup here today on the PSP Network. Nick Colberg on the call here from MSU Dome here in the Magic City. Let's take a look at our first half numbers brought to you by Premier Chiropractic. 
PremierChiropracticND.com is where you can find our family's choice for chiropractic care in the Magic City. It's Premier Chiropractic. Bringing you the halftime of the halftime numbers of this ball game. Let's start with the trailing Bondo Braves. The Bondo Braves had four scores in the books in that first half. They hit one three-pointer in the opening half. Six of eight from the Serb Pro free throw line for 32 points. That's wrong. We're on the wrong side. I do apologize. Let's start that over. Botno had four scores in the books. One three-pointer. They did end up going two, four, four for six. It was six for eight for them from the Serb Pro free throw line. 17 total points. They were led by the all-region, all-district player, Carson Hare. He had six, five for Taylor Christensen. Four for Ryder Pullman, the all-district player, and two for Bud Wilkie. Four the Bishop Ryan Lions. Well, they ended up with five scores in the books. They only had two three-pointers. They went two for four from the Serb Pro line for 32 points, led in scoring by Guess who? Brady Feller, 14 for him. Two points for Merck, five for Ian Johnson, two for Brett McKay, and nine for Ramsey Walls in our first half here. Underway from the second. Underneath, Walls puts it up and in, and Ramsey Walls has his first two points of the second half. If you're just joining us, Bishop Ryan is in white, Botno is in purple here today. At the first quarter break, it was 16-7. Bishop Ryan. Taylor Christensen's got two more. That's seven for him. At the half year again today, 32-17 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Ball's taken away here. Braves have possession. This is Bud Wilkie with it. Sends it off now up top and around the horn it comes. Here's a jump shot from the corner. That one missed. Spun back out. Comes back away now to Merck. And Merck's got the motor on here. Up over the timeline, off to Feller. Feller's got it, works it inside. Feller's gonna fire for three. Swish. Feller for three. Feller from downtown, and Feller's got another one here in this point here. That was Pullman, seven for him. Ball stripped here. Braves have possession again. Spin move. Laying it up. Oh, just couldn't get in, just couldn't get that one to fall for Ryder Pullman. Ball comes back away down to Merck, and Merck has it. Merck across the timeline. Stripped again. Good defense here. Hare puts it up. That shot won't count. He traveled on the play. Down by 16. Here are the Braves from Botno trying to take down Bishop Ryan. This would be the upset in the state right now if they could do that here at the MSU Dome with Ryan ranked in the top three in North Dakota. Ball comes away over on the far side. Here for the Lions. Thompson up top. Now Burke back to Walls. Walls sets it up. Goes over to Brady Feller. Feller inside. Ramsey Walls lays it up and in. Ramsey's got four here in the second half. And it's a 39-21 lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Hare behind the back, dished it down, went off of Feller. And it will be Botno basketball again. Today's game brought to you in part by our friends at the UPS Store. The UPS Store located in the Marketplace Foods Plaza. For all your packing and shipping needs, it's the UPS Store. Open six days a week for your convenience. Holman with a two-pointer, and Pullman starting to... Move and groove just a bit here in this ball game. That's nine for him. Lions force it inside. Ball's taken and stripped away again. Leak out is there. This is Nero puts it up and in again. Nero's got his first points of the game. Brody Bosch looking at Jet Lundin calls the play from the sidelines. Bishop Ryan has it again with Walls up top. Ball comes back away now to Jet Lundin. Trying to kick it off to Walls. Goes off. Of the feet there of Bud Wilkie, and it will be Bishop Ryan basketball. Inbounding here for Bishop Ryan. McKay, he's back in. Taking a seat for the Lions, Ian Johnson. Lundin's got it up top. 
Goes off now to Ramsey Walls. Planet Pizza brings you the second half here today. Planet Pizza, 852-1700. Try that blue buffalo pizza today. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. It's Planet Pizza. They truly are out of this planet. If you don't like pizza, they've got delicious breadsticks and chicken wings as well. Full menu at Planet Pizza and a lunch buffet that's open Monday through Friday, 11 to 2. Best pizza on the planet. Ball's handled here by Hare. He crashes up. Nice defense there from the Lions. Then it's going to be taken out of play here. Went off of the Braves, and it will be Bishop Ryan basketball. Leads at 14 here for the Lions, who won this tournament last year. They went 20 and 8 last season. Took fourth of the state last year. They won their opening round game here at the MSU Dome in the State B tournament. They look to get back to the big dance again here this year. Carson Burke. Foul was charged on Pullman. On the floor of the Lions. That's number three here on Ryder Pullman here in this ball game. Ramsey, ball. ball comes away now here to Bishop Ryan. They get Botno with it. Ramsey Walls puts it up and in. Walls has it again. Here's Ramsey Walls off to Merck. Merck across the timeline. Back over now to Feller. Feller takes the call here. Feller off to Merck. He's going to handle. Guarded by Hare. Hare's going to strip it from him. Here comes Carson Hare. Lays it up and in. The easy one for Carson Hare. First points of the second half. He's got eight now for Botno. Dribble drive move coming there from Johnson. Comes back away, Merck. Jet Lundin. Puts it up and in, and Jet Lundin has his first points of the ball game. 43-27, Lions on top. It's going to be a foul charge on Lundin, and that's going to be number three here on Jet Lundin. Six-foot-tall sophomore here for Bishop oh, Ryan. Jet Lundin is third. Off the inbound, Hare. Worked it back over here to Nero. Hare gets it back. Went off of Hare's foot. Falls on Carson Merck. But there's a foul on the play. It's on Carson Merck. 43 27. Back into the game for the Lions. Bishop Ryan on top here in this ball game. Big thanks again to United Community Bank and Swenson RV with Jerome's Collision Center helping bring you this region tournament along with all those other sponsors you see on the PSP network. Merck up top. Here's the jump shot coming. Swish. Johnson. Second three. three of the game for Ian Johnson. Leads at 19 for Bishop Ryan. Botno's battled here today, but Bishop Ryan has just been a step better in this showdown. Usually what you expect in these one versus four matchups, especially with the Lions are ranked number three in the state. Crashing in, working it up top, comes back now to Feller, and Feller delivers back here to Merck. Merck up top with it. Sends it off now. Jump shot, Feller downtown, you betcha. Back-to-back -back threes for Brady I'm Feller. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Bishop Ryan unhooks the plow here in the second. Big time lead for the Lions. the full lineup at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck or online swensonrv.com why go with Go Promo? We can get exactly what we want out of the products we need. They've always been ready to help us. The customer service is fantastic. It's just a breeze. 
Marketing your business is what we do. Go Promo offers unique creative services and online pop-up stores for all your branding needs. Our creative team can get your logo here, here, and even here, saving you time and money through our warehousing and fulfillment services. When you go with us, you can consider it branded. Located in Bismarck. Region 6 tournament coverage brought to you in part by our friends at Hub International Insurance. Hub International is the leading North American insurance brokerage. Find them in Western North Dakota. Josh Cattell and Michael Borman can help you with your business and personal insurance needs. It's Hub International. Well, this one hasn't necessarily been a track meet by any means here today. More of a rock fight at times. Bishop Ryan leading 49-27 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Merck's got possession of the basketball. Merck across the timeline, sent it off here now. It's Ian Johnson with possession. Goes up now to Feller, and Feller's got it up top where he goes to Merck. Here's Merck with the basketball. Sends it inside, Feller. Puts it off the window and Brady Feller scores. Eight for Brady Feller here in the second half, dominating, leading all scorers here in this ball game. He's got 22 in the contest. Ramsey Walls back to Feller, then Walls goes up. Oh, he's denied. Feller gets it at the side of the rim and puts it up and in. Brady Feller on a different level right now than everybody else in this ball game. 14 in the first half. 10 of the second, 24 rebound. Oh, the gimme underneath the hoop, unable to put it home for Wilkie. Comes back away now here as it's taken to run up the floor by Ian Johnson. He's hounded. Trying to feed it off there to Thompson, but it comes back away now. Hare, coast to coast, lays it up. Carson, Carson Hare. Hare has four of the second half. That's 10 for him total in the ball game. He leads the scoring here for Botno, who trails 53-29. Feller with it, goes back up now here to Ian Johnson. Johnson off to Carson Merck. Merck surveying here. Shot clock and game clock only different by a fraction of a second. Merck, coast to coast, dribble drive, move. Carson Merck puts it up and in. Four for him in this ball game. Final two seconds, Botno's gonna do something with it. Hare's gonna fire it. And it goes up into the Bishop Ryan student section. That's how our third quarter comes to a close. Lions have a dominating lead, 55-29 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. You love your car. And when you get in an accident, you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new. We're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Find out for yourself. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Fourth quarter is underway in game number one of the Region 6 tournament. All Bishop Ryan here in the showdown today. They lead 55-29. Feller downtown, no. Rebound pulled down here off to the corner, delivered away. Off to say he missed off the side of the rib. Braves have possession. They toss it free to Hare, taken away. Feller underneath. Oh, not a my house rebound. Comes away there, and it's taken up by Ramsey Walls. He puts it up and scores. Nice defensive stop there by Ryder Pullman, the all-district player. He got up and slammed the door. 
on Brady Feller. Now Hare's going to dribble drive. It's going to be a foul here called by Todd Hoffman. Foul is going to be on number four, oh, Hayden, Hayden Say. Same picks up number one here in this ball game. Team foul number three here on Bishop Bryant. Clock will start to run after a 30 point lead here in this ball game at the MSU Dome of Mana. Ball sent inside, delivered in. Ramsey Walls touched it last. Jersey Mike Subs brings you the ball game here today. Jersey Mike Subs is a sub above. Find them. On North Broadway in the Magic City, Jersey Mike Subs brings you the player of the week each and every week as well on the PSP Network. From the corner, jump shot off the mark. That one missed for Pullman. Say's got it again. He goes up to Brady Feller, and Feller's got it here. Feller worked it back around the horn, came away down to Brett McKay, and up at the top of the point to Tia Johnson. Guarded heavily here from Christensen, comes back away. Now to McKay. Big thanks again to United Tribes Technical College. They bring you the ball game on the PSP Network. Big thanks to University of Jamestown as well as a premier sponsor of the PSP Network. Come at Jamestown, Jimmy in 2023-24. Ball's taken here by the Braves. They step on the end line after it was tossed into play by Connor Radke. And the Lions get the ball back. Hub International Insurance, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, UPS Store, Prestwich Orthodontics, University of Jamestown, and United Tribes Technical College all bringing you extended tournament coverage along with our friends at Swenson RV and Marine, Jerome's Collision Center, and United Community Ramsey Bank as Ramsey Walls. Walls drains one from downtown. 60-29. Bishop Ryan, the number three ranked team of the state, up big in this ball game as the Braves toss that one away. Game Season's going to come to a close for Bondo on a record of 10 and 11 overall in their 22-23 campaign. Jake Qualifying for the region tournament. It's opening round, you lose and you're done here at the region dance. Tomorrow's semifinals will begin tomorrow night at six o'clock. We'll have the call for you here on the PSP network. Hope you join us for semi night tomorrow night. We'll have the third place and championship games coming your way on Thursday as well. Brady Feller's got it. Feller into the paint, sends it underneath. Waiting patiently, putting it up, no good. Rebound comes up now. Lorma just has it here. Goes off down to Gent Lundin. Comes away to Feller. He's going to stop and pop for three. In then out. Lundin up after it. And the ball comes back away now to Hare. Hare's got it here behind the back. Oh, how about that play? Sent it behind the back to Nero. And the ball ended up out of bounds after an excellent play coming there for a the all-district and all-region player here. Well, Bishop Ryan will have Feller and Merck have their nights come to a close. 24 total tonight for Brady Feller. Merck's going to end his night with four total here tonight. Time ticks down on the run clock here at the Modern State University campus. Inside, this one goes off the glass, no good. Foul inside. And that foul is going to be charged on who? It's on number 10 for the Lions. That's Lorma just first personal. Six team fouls here on Bishop Ryan in the second half. Hare's got it up top. He's going to fire for three. Rolls around and he gets it to fall in. For three. 13 now for Hare in the ballgame. His first three-pointer of the contest. Colton Feller's got it. He kicked it off. Say dribble drive move, left hand and throws it up off the window and scores. Six 
Seven Lions in the scorebook here today at the Dome. Bishop Ryan leads big. Inside battle off the boards comes back away here. Ball ends up on a play, but there's a foul coming inside, and the foul is going to be charged on number two, Colton Feller, his first personal. Connor Radke and Max Palmer on the floor for the Braves. Bowen Earp for the Lions. Ryder Pullman also off for the Braves. Thirty threes at the line here for Botno shooting. We don't have a thirty three in the lineup or on the official scorecard here in this ball game. We do apologize. He missed on that attempt anyhow and the ball comes back. Up top where it's going to be handled here by Pullman. Worked around the perimeter, comes down to Nero, fires for three, and Dave Pullman. Nero. Make that Nero, rather. For three. Bangs one home for three. 2.30 ticks down here in regulation. Lions on their way to the semifinals. Tomorrow night where they'll have a matchup coming either Velva or MLS. Velva gets in. That would be a matchup of last year's region championship game. Take a look at that graphic here. Ball comes back away now here to the Lions with under two to play. Lions with the subs into the ball game. Underneath, good look here. Put it up, but no good. Same missed, and now the Lico comes back away now to Nero. Nero trying to tower it up. Hold on to there here by Bishop Ryan. Kaler carries it ahead forward, got it back off to Colton Feller. Feller calls the shots, goes back over to Say. 90 seconds to play here in regulation. Jump shots. Max here for three. Max and Sheen from downtown. Eight Lions now in the scorebook. Scrum Ford at the end line. Ball comes back away here. Nero off the glass. Puts it in. Nero didn't score in the first half, but he's got himself seven here in the second. Time ticks down here on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Stick around for our planning team financial advisors at Shots Crossroads post game show here today. Planning team financial at Shots Crossroads bring you the post game. We'll have the full recap coming of this ball game. We'll have the stat breakdown. We'll also have our move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. And the MVP of the game brought to you by Sport Clips. Colton Feller. Sir Pro free throw line. He's the only Lion to shoot a free throw here in the second half, and he's one for one. He goes two for two. 43 seconds to tick down here in regulation. Lead back up to 30. Well, congratulations to Kevin St. Clair on a great season. Plenty to be proud of making the region tournament. Not easy to do that. Got into the big dance of the region. Not the way anyone wanted it to end here today for Botno, but plenty to be proud about again. They ended up one, two, three, number four inside of district play when it was all said and done. They got the fourth spot inside the district tournament. And their season closes out today at 10 and 11 as the Lions pick up their 21st win of the year and advance into After the, the semifinals. Well, let's right head to our planning team financial advisors at Shots Crossroads post game show. Plenty to talk about here tonight. We'll break down this matchup with the stats. We'll also hand out our awards of the move 
of the game. And our MVP of the contest brought to you by Sport Clips. It all happens next to the Planning Team Financial Shots Crossroads post game show. the full lineup at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck or online SwensonRV.com You love your car and when you get in an accident you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new we're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Find out for yourself. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and SIPC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Oh, easy, easy. I think I'm good. You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> oh, it's egg-tastic. You never know what dish you're going to end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded. <laughs> Throw in some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds. Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99, here I come. Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat. It's time for the Shots Crossroads and Planning Team Financial Advisors postgame show. Now for a look at game stats and analysis. Let's go to the postgame show. Welcome into our Planning Team Financial Advisors and Shots Crossroads postgame show. Here today as Bishop Ryan thanks down. The Botno Braves. Game number one of this tournament here today on the PSP Network. Let's run through final scoring totals of this ball game, starting with Botno, who scored 37 in the ball game. They are led in scoring by Hare, who had 13. Seven in the contest for Christensen. Nine in the ball game here for Palmer. We're going to talk to Brady Feller real quick. Let's just bring Mr. Feller in right now so we can go get back with his team here in just a moment. Brady, first things first. Pull this one down. Let's go like this. Where are we at here with Brady Feller? Let's go like this. Here we go. Now we'll bring in Brady Feller, our MVP of the contest here today. Boy, you had things lined up early on in this showdown. 24 for you in the ball game. Seemed like you guys were off to just a little bit of a slow start here today. What was the message in the locker room after the first half? Uh, just bring my energy. Got a little issue with this. Let's figure this out here real quick, my friend. Now let's give it a shot here, my friend. Okay, go ahead now. Uh, we just had to bring uh, effort and energy on the defensive end. Uh, we were a little bit sloppy, and especially offense, we were forcing a lot of shots and just play more as a team. Once you guys got rolling, though, the second half really took off in a big way. 24 for you today, but distribution across the sheet again for the Lions has to feel good knowing other guys like Walls. 20 for him today in the ballgame. That feels pretty good. Of course. 
It's always good when Ramsey stepping up. I mean, he's a he's a hell of a player. He'll be a a hell of a player the next couple of years. And you got guys like Jet, Carson, Ian, just guys everywhere on the court that can score. You guys are ranked number three in North Dakota. How much of a factor is that in your mind, knowing that you guys have that target on your back, the defending region champions, and that high ranking in the state, one of the favorites to win the big dance when it's all said and done? Uh, yeah, we just got to come to every game prepared to play. We know we got everyone's best game, and we just got to show them why we're the three and just come out and play ball. MLS, Velva, they play next to match up with you. The winner will play Bishop Ryan tomorrow night. Is there one of those teams that you'd prefer to play tomorrow night? Uh, what matters is, uh, is ourselves. we got to focus on ourselves, and uh, I think if we do that, we'll, we'll win this thing. Sure, appreciate you. Good job here today. Thank you. Our player of the game, Brady Feller, no big surprise. We knew he'd be big today, and he was again here at the MSU Dome. He had a game high 24 in this ball game. Congratulations once again, Brady Feller, our MVP of the contest here tonight. Final score in this ball game. We'll get back to that stat recap for you folks in just a moment here. Bishop Ryan put 67 on the board, 30 point win because it was Botno that ended up with 37 here in the showdown today on the PSP Network. Let's go back to that scoring recap. Botno again led by Carson Hare in the ball game. He had 13, seven in the contest for Taylor Christensen, nine for Pullman, seven in the contest for Nero, and two for Wilkie here today. It was a Botno team that only shot one three-pointer in the first half. They had three three-pointers in the second half. They did not shoot a free throw in the second half of basketball. And for Botno, total field goal percentage here in this contest, they shot 40, they get 31% total here in this contest. For the Bishop Ryan Lions, who were successful today with 67 points on the board. Well, 24 led the scorers in Feller. Nice outing for him again, make it 26. Gotta give him the credit where the credit is due here tonight. It actually was 24 for Brady Feller, I apologize. They ended up shooting 50%. The big key here in this ball game, hands down. Feller had 24, Walls had 20. Two for Brent McKay, two for Lundin, three for Max and Sheen, eight for Ian Johnson, and four for Carson Merck in the ball game. Final Bishop Ryan at 38 points of their 67 in the paint tonight. A big number for them as well. That board battle was big here in this showdown as well. Time for our move of the game brought to you by our friends at Jobbers Moving and Storage. Whether you're moving across town or across the country, Jobbers can help you with your moving and storage needs. It's Jobbers at the Jobbers Warehouse online at jobberswarehouse.com. Locations of mine at Bismarck, Fargo, and Aberdeen. They make it easy on the move. Jobbers Moving and Storage. While there was a play back of the first half, Brady Feller hit for three and he was fouled on the play in the late portion of that first half of basketball. To me, that was our move of the game today. It kind of just solidified that Feller was for real here in this contest. And the 24 for him leading all scorers set the tempo even into that second half. Congratulations, Brady Feller. You've also got our move of the game here today. Once again, move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. MVP of this contest brought to you by Sport Clips. Sport Clips Home to the MVP haircut experience, Sport Clips, where you can sign, on, sign in online with a hairstylist today. Quick, convenient, they're friendly at Sport Clips. They bring you the MVP. Congratulations, Brady Feller. Game high, 24 here today. Feller is our MVP, brought to you by Sport Clips. We're gonna reset the cockpit. We'll come back and get set and ready for game number two today. The MLS Mavericks and Velva Aggies warm up on the floor. We'll have our Shields pregame show coming up in just a moment. Lions are into the semis with a 67-37 win over Botno. Now it's the Mavericks and Aggies up next. Southwestern and South Central North Dakota on any given day at any given moment. A Dakota Community Bank and Trust customer is logging in or signing on to do their online or mobile banking. We believe that community banking can blend both the past with down-home customer service in-house and the future with modern banking conveniences and technology for our customers anywhere, like here or here, all while honoring our long-standing tradition of community-first oriented banking here at Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Getting that perfect slice 
is satisfying, fulfilling, and rewarding too. But we don't do it for fun. We do it for fresh. Slice to order makes a sub above. Many of our clients come to us already accomplished in their lives and on the right track. However, whether it's in response to a life-changing event or you are nearing retirement, you can sleep well knowing that together we have planned for both life's opportunities and challenges. And no matter what happens, we are here to help guide you. Hi guys, what can I get you guys today? I don't know what to order. Would you like to hear the story of how I learned what to order? Whoa, what is that? That's called a big rig, little lady, and that's the best dead gum meal here at Shots Crossroads. No, wait just a gall darn minute, Harry. You know darn well the best thing about Shots is breakfast. A 99 is how it's done. You mean a 109? No, I don't. The real pros know that it starts with dessert. No matter what you get, everything begins with a caramel roll. Hey, little dude. The truth is, there's a lot of right answers on this menu. My favorite is the golden crispy chicken strips and crinkle cuff fries. Just listen to your heart, and you can't go wrong. Now go make that order, bud. Oh, hey, kid, whatever you do, don't forget the ranch. So what you're saying is, as long as I follow my heart, I can't make a wrong choice? No, kid. The point of the story is order whatever you want. All right. I'll take a big rig, a 99, a 109, an order of chicken strips with crispy fries, and I take a karma roll to start with, please. Wait, and don't forget the ranch. This goes? I don't know. Are you sure it was a clicking and not a zoom, zoom? I think your quash litter bell stuck. Do you even have insurance? If we soak it, so it should be good. <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle, trust the experts at Tires Plus. Real answers for real mechanics. Inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition. Thinking service? Think Tires Plus. But Simon, what about mold? Agent Marlon Old. He holds the world record for fastest mold remediation. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Qdoba, Jersey Mike Stubbs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Crestwich Orthodontics, Hub International, The UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, Bibeto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, 
Serve Pro, BNC National Bank, Shields. Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Sherwood, the Mavericks, the Yankees from Velva. They come together now in this Region 6 quarterfinal matchup. 10 and 11 for the Mavericks, 13 and 9 for the Yankees. This is a number three versus number two matchup inside of the Region 6 tournament. This is a big one here. Winner moves on to take on the Bishop Ryan Lions. Why is that? Well, the Lions just got done tanking down Botno in the quarterfinals. Winner moves on to play number three ranked Ryan tomorrow night at the semifinals. We're at the Dome for the Region 6 tournament. Nick Ober, glad to have you folks aboard for the showdown here today. We're going to take a quick time out on the PSP Network. We'll come back and We'll send it down to the floor to Steve Pino, who will have the official introductions today of the Mavericks and the Yankees here in this quarterfinal matchup at the Region 6 Tournament. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. You love your car, and when you get in an accident, you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new. We're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Find out for yourself. Finding the right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. 
Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? <laughs> Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off, seven, pressure, point, yeah. It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. Let's go down to the floor, Steve Pino. Tail end of today's introductions. against Isaac Sandro, the 13-9 Aggies, the number two seed out of district. Number 11, take God, the number three seed out of district. Number 12, the MLS Mavericks. Nick Holberg on the call here from the Dome in the Magic, si uh, in the Magic City. Time for North Dakota High School Class B basketball. Thank you, officials. Thank you for all you do. are in white. It's MLS that is in their blues here today. We are underway from the Dome. Nick Holberg on the call here on the PSP Network. First shot from the Yankees, no good. Ball comes back up top, running in the paint, putting up the runner and scoring. Reggie Bruner has his first two points of the contest. Velva played in the region championship last year. They lost to Bishop Ryan. And what was a pretty good ball game. Ryan got out to an early lead in that region championship last year. Hard for the Aggies to come back from. They certainly know how to win. The state champions in high school football this year. Bruder puts it up no good. Rebound pulled down here by the Mohal Lansford Sherwood Mavericks and out with it. Abe Schokvist comes back away now. Schokvist has it. Delivered off here now to Morlock. Morlock. From the charity stripe, that one off the mark for Henry. On the ground, basketball comes away now here to the Aggies. They've got possession with Preston Kraft. Ball comes back over the timeline as Bruner sets up shop. It's a pink out inside the dome here today. A lot of pink inside the dome here at the campus of MSU. Peyton Bodine buries and scores his first two points of the game. Tournament coverage brought to you by United Community Bank along with Jerome's Collision Center. That shot's gonna come up from Bruner. He's gonna be fouled. Brian Offworth was on the baseline. He had the goal. Swenson RV and Marine also brings you the showdown here today. Chokefist is gonna pick up his first personal. Reggie Bruner is gonna go to the Serb Pro free throw line, but first a timeout on the floor. Four nothing. Aggies are on top early in this showdown. Find the full lineup at Swenson RV and Marine. In Love your car.
And when you get in an accident, you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new. We're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Reggie Bruner goes one for two from the Serb Pro free throw line. As we come back from the commercial timeout, the Hub International Insurance timeout. Jump shot off the mark. Mavericks with their own rebound. Comes back away here from Odlin from the corner. That jump shot no good. Towering up, rebound pulled down here by Peyton Bodine. He goes back to Bruner, and Bruner carries back across the timeline. Bruner drops down. From the brick, turnaround, jump shot. Kissed off the window and scored. Peyton Bodine puts it up and in. 7-0 run to start the ball game here today for Valva. Representing district number 11. They lost in the district championship game to West Hope Newburgh earlier on just last week, 76-64. Velva had a win over West Hope Newburgh earlier on this season. 76-73. Potential rubber match coming in this tournament. Somebody's got to get through Bishop Bryan to make that happen, however. Got to get through MLS first here. Also, MLS, a team coming out of District number 12, 10 and 11 on the season for them. Coming in, Mohal, Lansford, Sherwood. Aggies trying to make it a 9-0 run to start things off today here at the Dome. Look inside, powered up off the glass, and Peyton Bodine's got six to lead all scorers. He's got six of the nine here in this ball game. And thanks again to the University of Jamestown bringing you tournament coverage today. Enroll at the University of Jamestown. Jump shot, far side. Swoosh! Carson Nets got his first points, and the first points for the Mavericks, and they came from downtown. Bruner inside look, comes back away to Kyle Sandy. Sandy delivered off there to Shep. Jump shot, no good. Underneath, ball's going to be pushed out of the hands there. A Bodine underneath the hoop. And will be Yankee basketball. Boy, was it fun or what to cover the Velva Aggies state championship run this year in high school football. Program in a, in a community that just absolutely embraces the athletic events in Velva. Turnaround jump shot. Ben Shep, the third. Aggie in the scorebook today, and the lead's 11 3 in favor of the home team. Velva's in their whites. MLS is in the Navy's here today. Jump shot corner, bounced around. Carson Nets got two three pointers. And the lead cut to five on a pair of threes from downtown. Up top, ball worked around here by Thomas Bodine. Comes back up. Kyle Sandy worked inside, back up, thinking about the three. That was Preston Kraft. Now a jump shot for him, no good. And over the top came Peyton Bodine. He's going to be charged with the foul, and Peyton Bodine picks up his first. Well, this game certainly has a little more energy off the hop here today than the last one we saw with Bishop Ryan. Taking on Botno, the Lions cruise to a 30-point victory to go back to the semifinals. From the right wing, three attempt from Net off the mark. Another three-pointer on the other side, no good. That time for Morlock, who's going to get it? Isaac Sandrel, Valve Aggies coach over in the far sideline of the pink polo here today. He says that's Aggies ball, and he Reggie was correct. Bruner, back on the floor for the Aggies. Reggie Bruner checks back into the ball game. Checking out for Velva, Thomas Bodine will have a break. 3.39 to play here in the first half. Aggies across the timeline here with Reggie Bruner. Got the scoring started here tonight. He had six straight field goals without a miss here in this ball game. He coughs it up there, however. We go back now for Eli Unlin. Unlin brings it off ahead. Up top it comes around the horn here from Henry. Three attempt on its way. Swish. Riley Morlock from downtown. Isaac Sandro wants to call a timeout and talk things over as all of a sudden the Mavericks are back within two on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. 
At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. Looking to rent quality brand equipment for a project by the day, week, or month? At Bobcat of Mandan, we have the equipment you need to do any job for as long as you need it. Check out our entire fleet of skid steers, track loaders, excavators, tractors, and zero-turn mowers. We have an attachment for every project. Just call. We rent trailers upon availability, and delivery is available. Ask about our rent-to-own program. See our full Bobcat rental inventory at bobcatofmandan.com. Everything you need to get the job done. Bobcat of Mandan. Big thanks again to United Community Bank, Swenson RV at Jerome's Collision Center. Just to name a few that bring you tournament coverage here on the PSP Network. 7-0 round to start here for Velva tonight. But all of a sudden, we've got ourselves a two-point ball game at 11-9 because the three-point expo, expo has been on for Morlock and two for Carsonet for the Mavericks. Take it here by Bruder. That ball was tipped, so it comes back across the timeline. No over and back charged here. Take it by the Yankees. They've got possession now as they work around the perimeter. Comes down right to the block. Take it away here. Mavericks with possession again, running the floor. Riley Morlock goes down, passes it off to his buddy, Kellen Henry. He lays it up and scores. We're tied at 11 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Bruner back again across the timeline. At the elbow, sent in, towering up and knocking that ball out was Shokvist. Preston Kraft back on the floor for the Aggies. Now there you hear Steve Pinnow announced that Preston Reed Kraft is back floor. in. And Reed Morlock on the floor for the Mavericks. Reggie Bruner to inbound here for Velva. Kraft has it up top, comes back away down to Sandy. Back over on the far wing, Ben Shep, the quarterback on that football team for the Aggies that won the state crown. Goes around up top, Cooper Kittleson. Deep three coming with three on the shot clock, no good. Hit iron, so the clock resets. Comes back away now from Bruner. Up top, looking for the outlet, goes around the horn again. Reggie Bruner goes down, trying to put it up. Rebound on the offensive side here for the Aggies. Jump basketball. 91 seconds left here in our first quarter of play. And the atmosphere and intensity in this place is high early on today in this quarterfinal matchup inside of the Region 6 Boys Tournament. Mavericks trying to get it across the timeline. They do now as they send it off here to Carson Nett. Nett delivers back off. This is Schokvist. Runner down to the baseline. Put it up. He's fouled on the play. Foul's going to be charged on number 14. Oh, sorry. It's on 24, rather. Kyle Sandy. And Sandy picks up his first. Choke fist to the free throw line. He misses on the first. Kellen Henry back on the floor for the Mavericks. First free throw here in the ball game for the Mavericks. Team that went five and two inside the district and three and two inside the region. Finished off their campaign with the number three seed out of district number 12. They ran into a DLB team that is pretty stacked with Carson Yale and company, one of the favorites to get back into the region championship game here this year. Over the far corner, Aggies on the three attempt, no good. Miss there for Kraft. Comes back away now, little jump shot, no good. Rebound, pulled down, out with it comes Morlock. And Morlock brings it back across the timeline where Schokvist calls forward here, but it comes all the way back across the arc. Schokvist now again, delivered back over here to Kellett Henry. Henry down it deep, goes back up top. Shokefist, runner, put it up, no good. 
Board battle there, comes back away. Another offensive rebound here for the Mavericks, and then the Aggies are going to tank it, and the Aggies will bring it back up the floor. Here's Reggie Bruner, 6'2 sophomore. Only three seniors in this lineup here for the Velva Aggies. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with for a few seasons. Turn around. How about that spin move in the paint? And Ben Shep's got four now in the ball game, And the lead's at 13-12 here for the Aggies. Seven seconds to play, first quarter. Up top and around the horn again we go. They need to hurry down to one second. Peyton Bodine was there. Bodine stripped the basketball. Foul's going to be charged on Bodine, and Bodine picks up number two here in this ballgame. Two on Bodine, one on Kyle Sandy. Only one foul on the other side, and it's on Shulkfist here for MLS. At the charity stripe shooting is Morlock, and Morlock misses on his first from the serve pro free throw line. Serve Pro 24-7 emergency service with trained technicians and advanced technologies. It's Serve Pro. Orlock again, second one. That one misses, or that one makes, I'm sorry, after the miss. We're tied at 13 after one quarter of basketball here on the PSP Network. The shots, honestly, it just, the shots came to me. Eric and Eric especially had some great drives, you know, which led some great kicks, shout out to them. You know, it feels good. For you to come out here from a defensive effort against Eagle Staff, I mean, you're way smaller than him. Obviously, I mean, how did you get yourself pumped up for that? Well, you know, Coach, that's the thing that says, height doesn't matter heart, and I strongly believe in that. You know, I got the heart, and it doesn't matter if I got the height or not. Love that line, good luck next week. Yeah, there you go. All right, great job. I don't have the height, but I got the heart. That was a pretty cool sign right there by Jagger Gunville. Back up to you guys. Yes, and now... at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Jersey Mike Subs brings you the player of the week each and every week on the PSP Network. Make sure to vote for this week's Player of the Week on the PSP Network social media platforms brought to you by Jersey Mike Subs. They are a sub above. Ben Shep has six now and a chance at the old-fashioned three-point play as Savakul is going to pick up his first. Serb Pro 24-7 emergency service with trained technicians and advanced technology. It's Serb Pro. Ben Shep, the sophomore, that's his first from the serve pro free throw line. And it's a three-point lead for Velva. Big thanks again to United Community Bank with Swenson, RV, and Marine, along with Jerome's Collision Center, bringing you tournament coverage here on the PSP Network. Ball comes away now here to the Aggies. They've got possession up top. Preston Kraft goes inside with it. Reggie Bruner underneath. Ball taken away by Kellen Henry. He fires it forward. Here's a jump shot in the lane. Bounced around, getting the roll. And Riley Morlock has six now to lead the scoring. Tie the scoring, I should say, with Carson Nett here for the Mavericks. Ball down to the corner. Comes here now to Kyle Sandy. Worked inside again. Good look down in deep. And Ben Shep starting to motor here in this ball game. Leads back to three. Velva came out of the gate swinging here on this late afternoon, early evening with a 7-0 run to start things off. Three three-pointers made the game interesting. Now look underneath here and up and in. Eli Udland has his first two points of the ball game. Preston Kraft across the timeline. Kicked it back up top. Thomas Bodine into the paint here for Shep. Back up. 
Worked around nicely. Nice look underneath. Bruner wide open. Puts it up Reggie and in. Bruner. And Reggie Bruner has two more. That's five for him. And the lead back to three. MLS with possession. They work on it here. There's going to be a timeout coming. Timeout for Mavericks. Mavericks call the timeout. Three-point lead for Velva. Six minutes left here in our first half. We can get exactly what we want out of the products we need. They've always been ready to help us. The customer service is fantastic. It's just a breeze. Marketing your business is what we do. GoPromo offers unique creative services and online pop-up stores for all your branding needs. Our creative team can get your logo here, here, and even here. Saving you time and money through our warehousing and fulfillment services. When you go with us, you can consider it branded. Located in Bismarck. to the dome where the ball is going to be handled here by Peyton Bodine. Got it off to Bruner off the miss. Coming there for the Mavericks. Nick Kohlberg on the call here from the dome in the Magic City. Thanks again for joining us for tournament coverage. We've got the Region 5 and Region 6 boys tournaments. Wall to wall coverage for you again here this year. State Super A digital radio coverage comes your way this weekend. Live from Fargo in the Fargo Dome. The Shack will be there for the opening round of the boys and the girls, and then we'll have coverage all the way through the West Region teams. Riley Morlock goes up and scores, and Morlock has eight now in the ball game. Back up top, Bruner works it around here. Comes back away at Top of the key from the elbow, jump shot, nothing but that Peyton there Bodine. as Peyton Bodine has eight. 22-19 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Entertaining ball game so far here this afternoon with the Mavericks and Aggies. Ball worked in here by Mohal Lansford Sherwood. They go back up top with it, comes down to choke fist. He's got it, spins it away here. Little dribble drive, move off to the elbow, trying to free it up top. Net looking to net another, no good. Bruner went up after it. There's going to be a foul underneath as Bruner towered up, and that foul's going to be charged here on Eli Undland. Call on Eli Undland. Well, that name at Mohal Lansford Sherwood has been around for quite a few years. And Preston Kraft. Been some studs that have carried that last name through that program. And up just north of the Magic City. Basketball controlled here by the Aggies. Around the horn, it comes down here to Brayden Bossert. Ball's worked here. Inside, turnaround, jump shot off the front of the rim, just missed for Cooper Kittleson. And back with it come the Mavericks, they've got possession. Trailing in this ball game, but not by much, as this one's been a nail biter ever since the three three pointers here for the Mavericks. Pulled it within two, turnaround jump shot. Riley Morlock nets it. One point lead for the Aggies. Ball's worked away here now. Aggies with possession at the elbow, dribbling down, trying to free it here. Another jump shot coming. Aggies are off the mark on that miss coming from Kyle Sandy. And there's going to be a foul as the scrum for the basketball was on. And it's going to be on number 11, Brayden Bosser. He picks up his first personal. Third team foul here on Velva. If you're just joining us, Velva's in white. MLS is in the dark uniforms here today. Mavericks with possession. Reed Morlock. Comes away now to Henry. Underneath, there's a feed to Schofis. And Shokefist has three in the ballgame. Mavericks have the lead at 23-22. 
from that mistaken first lead of the ball game here for MLS. Up off the window. Melba tried to take the lead right back. Another shot coming here. That one off the mark. It just missed for Cooper Kittleson. And now it's the Mavericks that push it off ahead. Ball comes to Schoenfist. Sends it here off to Henry. Good crowd on hand here at the Dome. Roller jump shot no good underneath. Offensive board put back Riley Morlock. He's been a dominating presence in the paint here tonight for the Mavericks. 12 for him in the ball game. Aggies with Kittleson. From the elbow. Worked around the horn and comes here. Down to the baseline. Jump shot nailed. Cooper Kittleson has his first two points. Lead cut to one. Mavericks have possession. Trying to add to it here. A jump shot missed. on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Mavericks have possession. Bruner with it here. Ball comes back away now here to the Aggies. They've got it. Up around the horn. It comes down to Preston Kraft. Kraft has it. Sent over to Bruner. Henry with possession. 90 seconds to play here in the first half. Good pace to this ball game. See Isaac Sondral on the far side of your screen, the head coach of the Aggies pacing like a tiger over on the far sideline. Bruner with possession, he brings it back across the timeline here at the Dome. Big thanks again to Jamestown University, University of Jamestown. Roll for classes, 2023. University of Jamestown, three-pointer, you betcha, for Preston Kraft. He comes into the book for the first time here today. Lead comes back down to the Aggies, 27-25. They're on top. Swung over to the corner. Push back up. Shokefist has it here. Delivers inside, waiting patiently. The look, no backboard needed there as Eli Unlin just puts it in from underneath. And Unlin has four. We're tied at 27. 25 seconds, ticks down. Opening half. Worked inside again. Here to Shep. Back up top. This could be a heat check coming off the mark there for Preston Kraft. Aggies with possession. Bruner's got it. Down to 10 seconds to play opening half of basketball. Bruner up top. Bruner on the runner. Misses there. The ball will go out of bounds with 1.2 to play here in our first half. Shokvist to inbound it. And MLS will have one more opportunity here. Henry did bow. Gets it here. Horn will sound, and we are through our first half of basketball here at the Dole. Nobody gained any ground in that first half. We're tied at 27 aside here on the PSP Network. Presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness. Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Qdoba, Jersey Mike Stubbs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, the Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Prestwich Orthodontics, Hub International, the UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, 
Premier Chiropractic by Beto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, Serve Pro, BNC National Bank, Shields, Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck or online, swensonrv.com. You love your car. And when you get in an accident, you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new. We're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Find out for yourself. The magic of what we do really comes down to combining different aspects of patient care. Here at Premier Chiropractic, we love combining soft tissue work, the adjustment and exercises together. We found that this gets the best results for our patients. We have three chiropractors to fit the needs of the entire family, a rehab area for our exercises and equipment for any athlete to improve performance. Give us a call and we will get you back to doing what you love. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers. Moving in storage. I'm a grateful person on a lot of levels. I've been given so many great opportunities. But most of all, even as a little kid, I was taught a set of values. Like tools for life, hard work, responsibility, and the key to making it all work, commitment. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Ackerman Svold, your neighbors, friends, and family who are working for you. The local team with local availability and accountability for all of your engineering, architecture, environmental, transportation, and land development needs. Your project can rely on Ackerman Svold. Find them online at ackermansvold.com. When you start your project, talk with Ackerman Surveying and Associates. Our experienced surveying team guides you in the right direction with planning, planning, and lot and boundary surveys. The trusted name in land surveying, the trusted name in architecture and engineering is Ackerman Survey and Ackerman Svold. Find them at ackermansvold.com. 
what you're witnessing actually happens. This is a sad story about bad math. Bad math? Does your online company include mounting? You can't beat the online pricing. When you add the mounting, the shipping, and all the extras, it's just simple math. We guarantee the lowest prices. Our plus button is simply better, a less expensive way to buy tires. Thinking tires, think tires plus. 27 apiece at the end of one half played. We were deadlocked at 13 at the end of the first quarter here this evening and into the early portion of tonight. We don't gain any ground in the second quarter e either because it's 27 a side on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Welcome in to our premier chiropractic intermission report. Premier chiropractic ND.com, our family's choice for chiropractic care in the Magic City. It's premier chiropractic located here in the Magic City. Premier Chiropractic brings you the numbers of the first half. Let's start with the MLS Mavericks. With the game high right now, Riley Morlock, the all-district players got 12. Six for Carson Nett, two three-pointers for him, two for Kellen Henry, three for Shokvist, and four for Eli Unland. It was the Mavericks that had five scores in the books. They shot three three-pointers and going two for four from the line were the Mavericks in that first half. On the other side for the Aggies, leading them in scoring, Ben Shep. Nine for him. Eight for Peyton Bodine. Two for Cooper Kittleson. Five for Reggie Bruner, the all-district player. And three for Preston Kraft. Five scores in the books, one three-pointer, two for three from the Surpro free throw line. 27 total points. Other numbers in that first half. Shooting percentages look like this. In the game, 42% right now for MLS from the field. 50% from the serve pro line. Velva went 41% from the field, 12 for 29, and 66% from the free throw line. Points in the paint, well, MLS won that battle. 14 points in the paint compared to the six for Velva. Score was tied three times, four lead changes here in this ball game. We expect more in the second half of the same. If you missed the earlier matchup today, Bishop Ryan made their way into the region semifinals. They got a win over Botno here, 67-37. Number, number three ranked team in North Dakota trying to get back to the state tournament for another season. Velva took a 55-year break on being in the region championship game until last year when they lost to the Bishop Ryan Lions. After 55 years of not making the semifinals, can semifinals or the championship, can they make it back in here this year? They gotta go through MLS first, not an easy task. When we come back, we'll get set and ready for our second half of basketball. Tied at 27 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard after one half of play. Buckle up tight, second half is upon us and it should be a good one. MLS is in Navy with the silver trim. Velva is in home whites with blue and yellow trim here at the Dome. Time for our second half of basketball on the PSP Network. Get ready for this. Should be a good one. Nick Holberg on the call. Thanks for joining us here today. From the start, Mavericks fire a three from Kellen Henry. He missed. Now Reggie Bruner with the basketball. 30 seconds into our second half. Big thanks again to Planet Pizza. They bring you the show down here today on the PSP Network. Planet Pizza proudly serving the Magic City and the area for 25 years. The largest laser tag playground in the region. Both watering pizza and chicken wings at Planet Pizza. Call them, they will deliver to you. 
852-1700. Carson Ett missed for the Mavericks, and now it's Reggie Bruner that sets it up for the Aggies. Bruner spin move. Trying to set it inside, he did. Fouled Shep, but now Shep powers his way through, and Shep goes up and scores. Ben Shep's got 11, and it's a two-point lead for the Aggies. Three-point attempt, rolled around. That one just missed off the mark for Eli Unlund. Back the other direction we come for Reggie Bruner as he slows it up a bit. Good crowd at the Dome here today for the region quarterfinals of the PSP Network. This side of the Dome just about filled up. Good student sections on hand for both schools here today. Underneath, Shep powers his way through, put it up, he missed. Comes back away down to Shokefist, and he brings it across the timeline. Shokefist delivers back up top here to Morlock. See why he was all district last year. 12 points for him in the first half. Jump shot, that one just missed. Jinxed him as I say that with under six to play here in the third quarter. Stick around, two more games tonight here on the PSP Network. It's gonna be a busy, busy day of basketball at the Dome. Number one from the district number 11, West Hope Newburgh takes on number four from district 12, Ari Debers. Number two from district 12, DLB takes on number three from District 11, TGU here tonight. Shep, spin move, kicks it back up top. Down to the baseline, kick back up, three on its way, Kraft, swoosh! Preston Kraft for three. Six now for Preston Kraft, second three-pointer of the ball game. Five-point lead here in the showdown. We had four lead changes in the first Half a basketball. 7-0 run to start things off here in this ball game for the Velva Aggies on the end line. Matt Yell was right there. He had the call. And it will be MLS basketball. Mavericks inbound here. Three attempts on its way. Rolls around. Counted there. Eli Unlin. Now that was a two, he was on the line. And it's six for Udland. Mavericks cut into the Velva lead. Far from over here at the Dome. Shep has it. Shep behind the back, threw it out the middle, it's taken away, Shokefist carries it up the floor, drops it off, runner no good, rebound just missing there was Eli Udland. And now it comes back up here to Ben Shep. Shep has it. Shep down to the baseline, trying to spin it over. It's going to come free. Out top, looking for another three. Rolled in and out that time for Preston Kraft. Brian Offworth right on the end line, and out of play it went. Velva had a nine point lead in this ballgame. Biggest lead so far of the day here for MLS was three. That lead didn't last very long here this showdown. Ball's gonna be tossed out of play there by MLS and it will be Velva Aggie basketball. Big thanks again to Prestwich Orthodontics. Prestwich Orthodontics wishing all the teams best of luck here in the 23 tournament season. Prestwich Orthodontics financing options, free virtual consultations. Find them online, monitbraces.com. It's Prestwich Orthodontics. Smile and confidence in your smile and your game is a win-win at Prestwich Orthodontics. Ball underneath. It's going to be touched last by who goes out of play over on the far sideline. Looked like getting a hand on it there was Kyle Sandy and out of play it went. How about Larry Sandy's high school football career as the head coach of the Velve Aggies? He retired after another state championship, unbeaten in state championship games. Something only ESPN could dream about. That story to be written. Carson, Carson Nett. Nett from downtown. Third three-pointer here for Nett. And we're tied again at 32 aside. BNC not bank. Find them online, locations throughout North Dakota and Arizona. Cornell, Shokefist. Shokefist is gonna pick up his second personal. 
That will be the first team foul here in the second half. First foul of the second half in total. Shep looking to throw it in, needs to hurry. Now he does, but a timeout called here by Isaac Sondral, the head coach of the Velva Aggies. 32s on the board, we're tied here at the Dome. Is an experienced team of architects and civil engineers committed to achieving the best possible solution for every project. Over the past 20 years, our team has been trusted with jobs big and small throughout the state. From major flood protection projects to county roads, classroom walls, and community spaces. We will be your partner through the initial design to final construction. Trust the Ackerman Estful team with your next project. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Isaac Sodrell didn't like what he saw from his Valva Aggies on the last possession and inbound play. He called a timeout and now it's the Aggies that Drawn up and off that inbound play. It will end up back in the hands of MLS as that ball was towered up for and then sent out of outs. Bodine and Bruner come back in for the Yankees. Thomas Bodine will take a seat along with number 12, Cooper Kittles, to the freshman. Velva went 13 and 9 in the regular season. 7 and 2 inside of region play, 4 and 2 in the district. MLS went 10 and 11 inside of their season three and two inside of the region five and two of the district under three to play here third quarter we were tied at 27 at the break we were tied at 13 the end of the first quarter hello riley morlock downtown for him his second three-pointer first points of the second half he's got 15. Ben Shep towered up. Shokefist slams the door not once but twice. Shokefist comes up huge. Two stops there from Shokefist. Follow the play. It's going to be on Ben Shep. Riley Morlock, two shots. Ben Shep picks up his first personal. Riley Morlock off at the Surpro free throw line, who's 50% here today from the line. That number improves now as he goes two for three. Second one on its way. Nothing but that there for Morlock. 37 32. All of a sudden, MLS has found their way back up in the driver's seat to this ballgame. Travel, the violation will be charged here on Peyton Bodine. Bodine backed up. He thought there was going to be a foul coming, but he traveled on that possession. Two minutes, 12 seconds to tick down here in the third quarter. Mavericks with the ball. They move it off ahead. Ball comes back away now into the hands here of Reed Borlock. Morlock up top. They go around the horn with it. Shoke fist downtown. Just missed. Ball pulled in here. Shep's got it. Like that. Reggie Bruner, rather. And Bruner brings it up the floor. Bruner carries in, puts it up. Offensive, the call on Reggie Bruner. First personal on Bruner. Second team foul here in the second half. Mavericks with possession, trying to build another five-point lead. Biggest lead they've had in the ball game, taken by Reggie Bruner. He goes coast to coast, dances in, puts it off the window. He scored, and he's fouled. Seven down for Reggie Bruner, and he goes back to the serve pro free throw line. 
for a chance at the old fashioned three point play. If you haven't already done so, make sure to like and follow the PSP Network on all social media platforms. It's PSP Network. Our mission is promoting local athletes across our great state of North Dakota. Simple like and a follow, hitting subscribe on that YouTube platform helps us greatly in our efforts in promoting local athletes. Take that information on how many likes and follows we have back to our sponsors. More their advertisements are seen. More value in, in it for those sponsors and also for the kids because more we can get in the bank, the more we can promote local athletes and that's the bottom line, especially at tournament time where the NDHSA charges us rate fees to even be here. And it's a healthy check, let me tell you, at the end of the season, the PSP Network writes to the High School Activities Association for our efforts in promoting these local athletes. Falls in deep. Fall on the play. It's going to be charged on who? There was a couple Aggies inside. It's going to be on number 10. And Reggie Bruner has back-to-back -back fouls here. Sends Morlock back to the serve throw, free throw line. He's been money from here. He missed his first of the day, and he's hit three straight. 18 down to lead all scorers. Riley Morlock having himself a ball game here. Two-point lead for the Mavericks. And nothing but net again for Morlock. Here come the Aggies trailing by three. Three three-pointers in the first half. Two more here in the second for MLS. Total of five. One three-pointer in the first half, one in the second for Velva. Up top, Bruner inside. Shep kicks it back up top. Downtown, bounced around, no good. Rebound off the window, rolled in, then out. Ball comes back away. Aggies have possession again. Another three coming, that one short. Bruner's underneath, goes to put it up, and he's blocked. Morlock slammed the door underneath the hoop there. 29.7 left here in the third quarter. Aggies trailing the Mavericks by three on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Ball comes up, Bruner way deep. He missed. Schokvist pulls it out. Now Schokvist carries off ahead. Work back up top. Shot clock off. We're down to the final 16 seconds. Three on its way off the side of the rim there for Morlock. Back away with it come the Yankees and they run up the floor once again as it's going to be taken here with five seconds remaining. Outside look for three downtown off the mark. And for the first time in this ball game at a quarter break, we've got somebody that's in the lead. 39-36 MLS on top. Boy, this has been a ball game so far here today at the Dome. Hey fans, why not stay the sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring and the right way to film it is in slow motion obviously because authentic ingredients make a sub above the magic of what we do really comes down to combining different aspects of patient care here at premier chiropractic we love combining soft tissue work the adjustment and exercises together we found that this gets the best results for our patients. We have three chiropractors to fit the needs of the entire family, a rehab area for our exercises and equipment for any athlete to improve performance. Give us a call and we will get you back to doing what you love. you just love tournament basketball I certainly do it's a great day to be playing hoops here in North Dakota we dwindle our way down to the final eight inside of the state of North Dakota and class B hoops trying to all advance to the event center of Bismarck Eli for the B Eli Unland you betcha three-pointer for Unland Bruner with it 
Pruner goes down in deep. Ball's taken away here by the Mavericks. They run and gun now as it's back across the timeline. Morlock. Mavericks trying to become one of those teams that has their hopes still alive tomorrow night in the semifinal round. Bruner dishes off underneath, laying it up and in. Preston Kraft scored. Eight for Preston Kraft. Lead cut to four. Mavericks still on top. MLS with the basketball. They work it around now. Morlock up top. Morlock's got it here. Listen to this place come alive. Shulkvist delivers in. Corner pocket, no good. Offensive rebound after the miss there for Unland. Morlock came in after it, put it up. He's going to be fouled on the play, and he'll go back to the serve pro free throw line. Balls on ben Shep. Ben Shep picks up another one, and Ben Shep here in this ball game has two now in the contest. Morlock's been money from the serve pro free throw line. Here in the second half, but he misses on his fifth attempt. Then he nets one. He's got 10 from the serve pro line here today. 10 of a, I'm sorry, six of seven from the serve pro stripe here today in the second half. Jump shot from the elbow. That one missed. 6.37 to tick down here at the Dome. Mavericks trying to keep their season alive. Here's a runner in the paint, bounced around, pushed up there again. Big battle underneath. Comes back away now, Morlock step back. He's gonna be short on the play. Look at the MLS fans, they wanted a call, they didn't get it. Ball comes back away down to Bruder. He's back across the timeline. District 12 with a dominating performance earlier on here in this Region 6 tournament. Bishop Bryan had a 30-point win earlier on here today. Basketball was kicked after Shokefist tried to send it in. For just joining us here today, we see that earlier on, Bishop Bryan by 30 over Botno in the first game of the day. The Lions are ranked number three in North Dakota. Brady Feller with another 24-point performance, the 1,000-plus point scorer in his high school career. He'll be in the conversation for the Region 6 Player of the Year. Voted as the District Player of the Year in District 12. Wide open from downtown. Swoosh! Reed Morlock. Reed Morlock. Ball comes back away now here to Bruner. Bruner's got it. Jump shot, that one's gonna be off the mark. Runner put up off the window, and the points are there. Oh, Kyle Sandy's got four now in the ball game. Forty-forty-six. Oh, MLS has the lead. His third. Ben Shep picks up another, and Ben Shep's got. All three of his coming here in the second half. Five team fouls now here on Velva in the second half of play. Shep, quarterback pass down to Bruder. Sends it off here. Shep gets it way back, thought about it. Shep now spin move, jump shot in the lane, no good, rebound. Pulled down here, sent up on angle, shot no good. Another offensive rebound here for the Aggies, and Shep will slow it down just a bit as the shot clock reset. Ball comes back away here to Preston Kraft down near side, Reggie Bruner. Bruner's got it now, sends it underneath, and that ball's gonna be kicked by Morlock. Out of play it went. Under five to play in regulation. Six points the difference, MLS on top. Roger Ward moving at storage brings you the ball game here today, Roger Ward. Moving in storage, proudly serving the region since 1942. It's Roger Ward moving in storage. Runner down to the baseline, just missed there for Preston Kraft. Here come the Mavericks down to the corner. Carson Nett, who's got himself three three-pointers in the ball game. Ball was stripped by the Aggies, and the Aggies bring it back across the timeline. Reggie Bruder. Velva looking for some points. They go inside. Can they get an easy one here? They can. Peyton Bodine. First points here in the second half of the lead. Cut to four. 
Time out coming here. MLS wants to talk things over. We've got ourselves the ball game, folks. Four's the difference with 420 left in regulation. get in an accident, you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new. We're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Find out for yourself. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. And Region 6 basketball coming your way live on the PSP network. Wall to wall coverage. Busy week for PSP. We'll be in Fargo as well coming up for the state Super A following the West Region teams at that Super A tournament. Looking forward to calling the Bonnet High games. Digital radio coming your way this week from Fargo. PSP burning the Midnight oil, if you will, work it overtime at tournament time. A lot of fun to be doing it. However, we had all 22 games from the WDA tournament just this last weekend. Bruner somehow comes out with it, goes up. Shokefist knocked it down. And then Shokefist is going to commit the foul. He didn't like that call very much. As Cordell Shokefist picks up his third. Cordell Shokefist in foul trouble for MLS. He's the only one in trouble. Ben Shep, the only one in trouble right now with three here for Velva. It's been a clean game up and down the floor here today at the Dome. <laughs> Reggie Bruner at the line sinks. His second free throw here in this ball game. Two for four now here in the contest and Bruner from the serve throw stripe. Second one's in. Two points the difference, MLS on top. District 12 looking for a, queen, a clean sweep here of Region 6. The Aggies have anything to do with it. They're going to fight till the very end here today. You know they will. Around the horn it comes. Shot clock at 17. MLS looking to set their offense here. Now with 12 to play on the shot clock. They'll run it deep three. Warlock from downtown. Four three. Morlock with three three-pointers of the ball game. In the paint, Shokefist had the block. Ball saved here by the Mavericks. Out they come with it. Running gun to head, comes back Shokefist. Nice feed inside, Morlock reverse. No good, sorry, that was 20 rather. Eli Unlid just couldn't get it to fall. Now we go in the hands here of Shep. Oh, he's denied getting up with Shokefist. Slammed the door in big time. That's the fourth block today here by Shokvist, making it tough on the Velva Aggies inside the paint today. 238 to tick down. Sands through the hourglass. These are the days of our lives, and right now it's pretty intense for both of these teams. That shot will not count. Lance McKeith, he had the call. Look at this officiating crew on the floor today. You've got Matt Yale with Brian Offworth and Lance McKeefe, three of the best, not only in the region, but in the state of North Dakota. Lance McKeefe named the official of the year by his peers in North Dakota just two short seasons ago. Under two and a half to play in regulation. Aggies trail by five. Down to the baseline, dribbling in, now nowhere to go. Underneath the hoop, this is Preston Kraft. 
And a timeout coming here. Isaac Sandra wants to talk things over with his Velva Aggies. They trail by five late in the ball game. Not over yet by any means, however, for the Aggies. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. to you by our friends at Prestwich Orthodontics. Prestwich Orthodontics. Confidence in your smile and in your game is a win-win at Prestwich Orthodontics. Find them online at braces.com. Financing options and free virtual consultations at Prestwich Orthodontics. In the paint, hounded here somehow, getting it up, all rolled in, then out for Sandy. Down with it. Mavericks had it, and then the ball was pushed out of play there by Peyton Bodine, one of the lone seniors here for this Velva basketball team. Only one senior on the other side here for MLS, and that's Cordell Schokvist. He's got three in the ball game here today, but his defensive side has been fantastic here today in this showdown. Comes up now to Carson Nett. Morlock, who's been fantastic here today. Comes down in deep. Net back to Morlock. Morlock, jump shot. Rolled in, then out. Rebound, Aggies. Down by five under two to tick down. Approaching 90 seconds here in this ballgame. Aggies set their offense. Comes away to Reggie Bruner. He's going to crash in. Puts up the shot. And there's going to be a foul coming and two shots here for Reggie Bruner. Bruner goes back to the serve pro free throw line where today made his first, missed the second and third, and then has hit two straight. Foul was charged on Savakul. That's the second on Savakul, first of the first half. First of the second half, I'm sorry. Bruner didn't miss. Schokvist checks back in. Here for MLS. 93 seconds left in the ball game. Bruner, second one's good. 12 here for Reggie Bruner to pace the scoring here for Velva. Here are the Velva fans with a defense chant that's on. Big thanks to Swenson RV and Marine, our friends at Jerome's Collision Center. And United Community Bank bringing you the ball game here today. Bruner lays it up and in. And Reggie Bruner pulls the game within one with a minute four left here in regulation. Time to buckle up tight. Here we go. Ball across half court. Orlock runner in the paint. Put it in. Reggie Bruner back the other direction. Bruner's got it, crashes up and in, but the timeout was called. Aggies want to talk things over again as we are officially in crunch time. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. I ride Zoom, Spider 2 Y Banana. You don't like that one, okay. I ride 40 Power? No. You don't want that one either? No. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He 
He's been called the human sponge. Today's game brought to you by the University of Jamestown. Enroll at the University of Jamestown for the 2023 fall semester. University of Jamestown brings you this action here on the PSP Network. Ball sent inside, comes away up top now here. Shep delivered it off. Back up top, Bruner, step back, deep, three, no. Rebound, taken out. Back to the far side, this is Kraft from downtown, no. Bruner in after it, another offensive board. Bruner gets it back. 30 seconds now to tick down. Valvo with possession. Three attempt on its way, that ball. No good there, goes off a short fist. Oh, there's a call right on the end line. Lance McKeith was right there. Reggie Bruner wants to argue it. Short fist on the end line. And Lance McKeith was right on the end line watching that ball go off of Bruner and Schultfist saying, I know what I saw, guarantee. That brought the Velva faithful to volume, but now the foul game is on. Here with 21 seconds left here in regulation. A couple fouls to give here for Velva. They've only got six here in this contest right now. Schultfist to inbound again. MLS puts it into playoff. It comes down here for Eli Undlin. Into the bonus we go now as the foul was charged here on number 20. Oh, it's on. On Ben Shep, I'm sorry, 23, not 24. That's number four on Ben Shep. Sends Eli Unlin to the Serb Pro free throw line for the first time here in the quarterfinal matchup of the Region 6 tournament. Money. Four point lead. It's going to send Unlin down to the charity stripe. Stand by himself here. Second one on its way. May have just iced the ball game. 19.4 left here in regulation. Velva's got to hurry quick. They have possession here. Jump shot downtown. You betcha. And Shep with a big time three. Back within two. Velva's Ben Shep had a three pointer that just made things interesting. Two point lead here for MLS. the full lineup at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck or online, SwensonRV.com If you like drama and intensity, you're in the right place right now. 12 seconds remains, two point lead. Mavericks have possession of the ball and the lead in this ball game. And now to the serve pro free throw line again, Eli Unland has a chance from the serve pro stripe. Oh, Kyle Sandy. Kyle Sandy's gonna pick up Eli foul Unland number two here in this ball game. And Unland goes back to the Serb Pro Stripe 24 7 emergency service with trained technicians and advanced technologies. It's Serb Pro. Second one coming from Udland. Nothing but that. 10.6 left. Four's the difference right now. 
on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. That brings the MLS fans to their feet. What a ball game this one's been. Love your car and when you get in an accident you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new we're jerome's collision center and when you need us we'll be there for you jerome's collision center find out for yourself ackerman estfold is an experienced team of architects and civil engineers committed to achieving the best possible solution for every project over the past 20 years, our team has been trusted with jobs big and small throughout the state. From major flood protection projects to county roads, classroom walls, and community spaces. We will be your partner through the initial design to final construction. Trust the Ackerman Estfold team. Here we go, final eight seconds to play. Pulling way up for three. That one just missed off the mark there from Shep. Came across the half line and on court to four points the difference here in this ball game. Preston Kraft, Preston Kraft has the foul. To the free throw line, Carson Nett. Carson Nett goes to the serve pro line for the first time here in this ball game. Four seconds remaining, that one in for Carson Nett. How about MLS in the second half? One, that's five, that's 10 of 11 here in the second half of basketball. Free throw shooting, the difference maker here for the Mavericks in this one, even though he missed the second. Across the timeline, the attempt was there, but no good. MLS is on to the region semifinal as they defeat Belva. 56-51 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Let's go to our planning team financial advisor, Shots Crossroads postgame show. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Qdoba, Jersey Mike Subs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Crestwich Orthodontics, Hub International, The UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, Bibetto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust. Jobbers Moving and Storage. Sport Clips. Shots Crossroads. Planning Team Financial Advisors. Serve Pro. BNC National Bank. Shields. Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network. It's game day. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of Finrun Sipic. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Oh, easy, easy. I think I'm good. 
You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> oh, it's egg-tastic. You never know what dish you're going to end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded. <laughs> Throw in some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds. Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99, here I come. Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat. It's time for the Shots Crossroads and Planning Team Financial Advisors post-game show. Now for a look at game stats and analysis. Let's go to the post-game show. In all District 12 semifinal number one tomorrow night, that's because Riley Morlock and company take down the number two seeded Velva Aggies. Let's bring in our player of the game right now, Mr. Warlock. Warlock, who had, you could call you the Warlock here tonight, the way you played. Mr. Warlock, 25 points for you today. First things first, how are you feeling after a ball game where you guys pick up a huge win here today? Got something wrong with this mic real quick. Let's fix that for you, my friend. There we go. Now we got it. How are you feeling after the win here today? I'll ask you one more time. Uh, it feels great. It's always good to get a win. Go on to the next round, play, get to play two more games. Touch on Velva just for a second. That's a gritty basketball team right there, and they tried to uh, cause some trouble for you guys, but you found a way to put up 25 tonight. Talk about what it was in your game that allowed you to do that here tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, they're big, strong kids. Uh, just getting to the paint on their, their far zone. They play really far out. Just getting to the free throw line, knocking down some jumpers. That really helped. Were you worried at all when you were down 7 nothing when this game started here tonight? You guys came back and certainly put up a heck of a fight in the first half. No, I wasn't worried at all. We have we have really good shooters on the outside that would get us in and back, back into a game really fast. What were you thinking when Eli Utland went 4 for 4 from the charity stripe at the end of the ball game? That had to be pretty relieving, hey? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Having an eighth grader step up, hit four big free throws. Final thing for you, what does it take to beat Bishop Ryan tomorrow night? Obviously, they're the real deal, ranked number three in the state. What will it take tomorrow night to do that? Uh, it'll take everything. They're a really good team. Everybody's got to do their part. Simple enough. Yep. Best of luck tomorrow night, my friend. Great job here tonight. Riley Morlock, our MVP of the game, brought to you by Sport Clips. You can go celebrate with your team, my friend. Big night for him. Let's take a look at the numbers here on our planning team financial advisor Shots Crossroads post game show here tonight. Planning team financial at Shots Crossroads bring you the post game. Planning team financial advisors, if you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for far more business succession, it's planning team financial. Find them online, planningteam.com. Shots Crossroads, where team buses are always welcome. On the 2 and 52 bypass east on the east side of the Magic City. Big thanks again to Shots Crossroads for their continued support of the PSP network. Try that banana cream pie. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Five point win here tonight for the MLS Mavericks, who improved to a record of 11 and 11 on the season. Velva ends their year at 13 and 10. Valiant effort from them here today after coming into this tournament as the number two seed. Let's look at the scoring, starting with Velva here today. They had six scorers in the books. Five came in the second half. In the second half, they went two for, uh, they, they had two three-pointers. They went four for five in the second half from the free throw line. Totals for them, six for eight in the ball game from the serve throw line. Three total threes and six total scorers in the book, led by Ben Shep with 14. 13 for the all-district player, Reggie Bruner. Eight for Preston Kraft, two for Cooper Kittleson, 10 for Bodine, and four for Kyle Sandy. For the Mavericks from MLS, well, they had six scores in the books. 
They hit eight three-pointers, and the big number for them, they ended up 12 for 16 from the serve pro free throw line here in this ball game, including some big ones down the stretch from the eighth grader Eli Udland, who finished with 13 here in this ball game, second only to Riley Morlock, who had 25. 12 in the first half, 13 in the second half for Morlock, our MVP of the game. Three for Reed Morlock, three for Shokvis, two for Kellen Henry, and 11 for Carson Nett. Big win for MLS. They'll play Bishop Ryan tomorrow night in the region semifinal. Time for tonight's move of the game, brought to you by our friends at Roger Ward Moving and Storage and its brother company, Jobbers Moving and Storage. Whether you're moving across town or across the country, Jobbers can help you with your moving and storage needs. Find them online, jobberswarehouse.com. It's Jobbers Moving and Storage bringing you today's move of the game. While there was a play back in the second half where Schofist had two straight stuffs in the third quarter. It was in the third quarter, actually. Back-to-back -back stuffs inside the paint. He had four blocks here today. That's what I had written down for our move of the game here in this contest. And that would have been Schokvist receiving that award. But I think you got to go to the four straight free throws from Eli Unland that helped secure the victory here today. The eighth grader, Eli Unland, four for four in the second half and in the ball game from the Serve Pro free throw line down the stretch. Unland has our Jobbers moving in storage move of the game. Time for our MVP of this matchup. The MVP is brought to you by our friends at Sport Clips. Sport Clips in Bonnet and Bismarck, where you can sign in with a hairstylist online. Sport Clips, proud to bring you the MVP of the matchup. You can also get an MVP haircut experience at Sport Clips, located in South Bonnet. MVP of this contest, well, Riley Morluck, the all-district player, second straight year, no big secret here today. He led the scores with 25, a dominating force inside outside game and he also was good from the serve pro free throw line congratulations riley morlock you're our mvp of the game brought to you by sport clips well let's get the cockpit reset we've got plenty to talk about the next one number four from district number 12 our redeemers takes on number one out of district number 11 the west hope newberg sioux that comes up next put a cap on our planning team financial advisors and shots crossroads post game show planning team at shots proud to bring you the post game coverage of this region six tournament it's velva that drops to the mls mavericks who move on to the semi-finals 56 51 on the bnc national bank scoreboard for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and SIPC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? <laughs> Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off! Seven, pressure, poise, yeah! It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here? Ah. That's a spot! Right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers. Moving in storage. Oh, easy, easy. I think I'm good. You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> 
Oh, it's eggtastic. You never know what dish you're going to end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded. <laughs> Throw in some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds. Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99, here I come. Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat. the full lineup at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck or online swensonrv.com. Finding the right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. Obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? <laughs> Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off, seven, pressure, poise, yeah! It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's the spot, right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair.
Well, it's been entertaining so far here at the Dome. It's gonna be good again with Ari Deemers and West Hope Newberg as they lock horns. The number one seed from district number 11, the Sioux take on the number four seed from district 12, the Knights. Nick Colberg here for the Shields pregame show as we get set and ready for this showdown inside the Region 6 tournament. Region 6 tournament coverage brought to you in part by our friends at Swenson RV and Marine. We want to thank our friends at Swenson RV and Marine, Jerome's Collision Center, and United Community Bank for bringing you the contest here for the Region 6 tournament. It's been good so far. Let's take a look at that tournament graphic and where we stand right now. It's an all District 12 semifinal number one tonight after, uh, I'm sorry, tomorrow night after what we saw here today and tonight as MLS downs Velva by a score of 56-51 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. 30 is the difference between Bishop Ryan and Botno in the opening matchup of the day. That Bishop Ryan team ranked number three in the state. They're the favorite here in this tournament. What will happen in the next one? West Hope Newberg and Ari Demers come up next. DLB and TGU tonight as well. We'll take a break on our Shields pregame show. We'll come back and send it down to Steve Pino with the official introductions here in this ball game. When you get in an accident, you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new. We're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Find out for yourself. Official introductions are underway. Let's go down to the floor with Steve Pinna. One quarter to the late, the six-foot-three sophomore, Hurricane Chase Weekly. the official introductions of this ball game today. Should be a fun one here between the Sioux and the Knights. You hear the name Walker Broughton. He's only a sophomore. He's already amassed and surpassed 1,000 career points. The all-district, all-region player wears number 13 for the Sioux here today. He'll be in a white uniform. West Hope Newburgh will be the home team. It's Ari Deemers, the road team here today. It's time for our opening tip-off brought to you by Planet Pizza. Planet Pizza, 701-852-1700. Try one of those blue buffalo pizzas today at Planet Pizza. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. The Sioux and their whites, the Knights and their blues. Nick Colbert from the Dome. We are underway on the PSP Network for Region 6 quarter final action. Early start here for the Sioux with a good tempo early and a jump shot for three. You betcha. Will Arch from downtown starts things off 
And it's 3 nothing Sioux. Lights with possession. Here's a runner in the lane that comes away. Noah Erickson puts it up and in. Erickson starts the scoring here for Ari Debers. Comes back away up top now. Hawkins worked inside in the paint. Kissed off the glass up and in. And Tolstad's got his first two points of the ball game. Just about a minute in. Just about a minute in, and we've already got seven points here in this showdown. Five for West Hope Newburgh. Round the horn they go. Can they get another three? That one off the mark that time from Hawkins. We go back the other direction now as it comes here for Bryce Vibeno. Down to the baseline. Looking for the outlet. Here's a drive. Uh-oh, look out. Losing his footing there. Noah Erickson went down. There's a foul on the play. Dalton Hawkins, Dalton Hawkins tripped him. Dalton Hawkins picks up his first personal. That will be the first foul here in the ball game. Big thanks to Hub International Insurance. They bring you the contest here today on the PSP Network. All your personal and business insurance needs, it's Hub International. Contact Michael Borman or Josh Cattell today. 355-3100. Sue have possession. 5-2. They've got the lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Will Arts up top. Ball's taken away here. Knights regain possession. They come up with Noah Erickson. Down to the corner. Comes back away now for Francis. Up top. Deep three. Way short there off the miss from Colin Swenson. And we go back the other direction where it comes here. Up top again for Bailey, the all-district player. He traveled on the play. Well, the last one with Velva and MLS was certainly entertaining. Aggies, after being in the region championship game last year, they dropped to MLS by five. After the young man, the eighth grader, Unland, nailed four of four from the Surpro free throw line down the stretch. Weekly jump shot, that one missed. Sue with possession up top. Here's Walker Broughton from downtown. Swoosh. Well, the last thing the Knights want to do is get Walker Broughton going. Their opposition, one of the top players in the state of North Dakota, has got his first, and it's a three-pointer here in this ball game. Weekly turnaround from the paint. The big man puts it up and in. Jace Weekly, the sophomore center. Scores his first two, and we're under five and a half to play in our opening half of basketball. Todd Hoffman, the official for this ball game here today. Had the call there. Noah Erickson's going to pick up his first. Senior guard for the Knights. Ball's going to be taken away on the pass there. Colton Francis got the arm and away just for a moment. 8 4 the lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. West Hope Newberg in the driver's seat early in this ball game. Here's Walker brought on the dribble drive move, sent it underneath, tried to feed it over here to Morgan LeMay, and that ball was tossed out of play. Weekly to inbound the basketball, but first into the ball game, Juttonen checks in here for the Sioux. The big man, number 24, LeMay checks out here for West Hope Newberg. Weekly off across the timeline. Colton Francis down to the corner, and then worked around here. Francis has it. Off to Weekly. Dribble drive move. Weekly puts it off the window and scores. Weekly. Four for Weekly. Two point lead for West Hope Newberg. Into the paint and then out again. Ball comes back away. Will Arts has it. Arts here sends it up, tried to go on to the hands of Jutton, and that ball went on to play. 11 and 10 inside of the 22 23 season for the Sioux. 10 and 10 this season here for Ari Deemers. It's a matchup that's pretty good on paper when you look at both of these teams. DLB and TGU will play next here on the PSP Network. Forward with the basketball. Noah Erickson. 
dished it off, tried to feed Colin Swenson over on the far side. He's got it over Swenson. And it will be West Hope Newburgh basketball. Nick Holberg here on the call from the Region 6 tournament. We'll have Perry Hansen joining us from the Hoopster publication tomorrow. He'll come to the Magic City and join us on the call. Perry does a great job with that Hoopster magazine. Get your Hoopster for next year as well. If you haven't, start collecting those Hoopsters. It's just absolute yearbook from year to year of North Dakota basketball all the way from high school to college. It's going to be a foul on the play. Does the bucket count? They're asking that question now. Count the basket and the foul, you bet. On Noah Erickson goes first. to the serve pro free throw line. Free throw line Colton Francis and one. Francis down to the serve pro free throw line. That foul was charged on Brayton Bailey, his first personal. Can Francis convert? He can. And the old fashioned three point play for Colton hey, Francis. Limbo checks in here for the Knights. Checking out for our neighbors will be number 23, Colin Swenson, the freshman. Broughton inbounds the basketball. Brayden Bailey brings it across the timeline. Ari Deemers has the lead after the and one play. Broughton tried to jump shot, no good. Colton Francis stole it. And we go back the other direction now here for the Knights. Francis up top, worked around the perimeter off Noah Erickson. Dished it back over there to Jace Weekly. Comes around at the top of the key. Limbo down to the corner again. Freed Erickson. Francis sends it inside. Tried to feed it inside to the big man weakly, but it was taken there after it went off the backboard. Now a steal. The other direction we go for Peyton Limbo. And Limbo works it up here where he goes to Jace Weekly. Around the offensive zone now for the Knights with 3.24 to play in our first quarter. Weekly sends it up in deep. Three attempt on its way, and that one off the side of the rim missed there for Limbo. Offensive board, deep three. Francis missed. Another offensive rebound here for the Knights. That brings their fans to volume. Ball's up top where Francis sent it off. They play catch with it. They go inside down a weekly. Weekly kicks it out top. Here's a three attempt. Swoosh. Limbo for three. Limbo's got the three pointer. Four point lead here for our redeemers. Dribble drive move. Bailey's got it. Ball's taken away. Francis with possession. And Francis carries on ahead. Francis drops it back. He'll get it here. Works it back up top. Down to Erickson. Back up. Francis downtown. Yeah. Betcha. Francis buries the three pointer. And West Hope Newberg wants the time off. They'll take it here with 2.24 left in our first quarter. Our Redeemers from behind early, putting up a big lead. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck or online swensonrv.com. Why go with Go Promo? We can get exactly what we want out of the products we need. They've always been ready to help us. The customer service is fantastic. It's just a breeze. Marketing your business is what we do. Go Promo offers unique creative services and online pop-up stores for all your branding needs. Our creative team can get your logo here, here, and even here, saving you time and money through our warehousing and fulfillment services. When you go with us, you can consider it branded. Located in Bismarck. Knights with possession, they bring it back across the timeline. They spin it back away to the far wing and around the horn it comes now where it comes away to Ari Deemers. They've got a 15-8 lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. 
Ball comes up top now here for Englehart. Deep three on its way. That one just missed. Wyatt Weekly had the jump shot from downtown. It was off the mark. There's a foul inside, and it will be Ari Deber's basketball. Tolstad's going to pick up his first personal. Second team foul here on West Hope Newburgh. Knights have possession. They go around the horn with it. They bring it back over to the far side here for Limbo. Jump shot weakly off the mark. Comes back down here to West Hope Newburgh. They've got possession again now for Hawkins. Deep three on its way. You betcha. Will Arts buries from downtown his second three pointer. Just like on the back country roads, like John Denver would say, take me home for three, and Arts has two of them. Four points the difference right now in the ball game. Here in the first half. Ari Deemers on top, comes back up. Weekly kicked it off here, went back over now to Linbo. Deep three attempt coming again, no good. Broughton pulled down the rebound. He's been quieted so far here in this ball game. Only three for Walker Broughton Andrew right now. Back to the Knights. He'll have the chance to inbound here with 53.6 to play and here in our first quarter of basketball. Big thanks again to Jerome's Collision Center along with our friends at Swenson RV and Marine along with United Community Bank. They bring you the ball game here on the PSP Network with Region 6 tournament coverage. Big thanks to all those sponsors that make PSP Network what it is. Frankly, without that, we wouldn't be here. Nobody would be here because nobody could afford it. Ball comes back away inside. Up top it comes, the jump shot on its way. That one hit the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down here, Knights have possession. They're gonna come out with it. And back we go now here for Noah Erickson. Shot clock's off, 18 seconds to tick down here in the first quarter. Back up top for the Knights. They've got it here, the Knights working around. Comes back away now to Wyatt Weekly. Off to Erickson. On the end line, over on the far sideline, I should say, out of play, the Knights went. 1.5 left here in the first quarter. Four points the difference on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. West Hope Newburgh trailing in this ball game. That toss comes in. And it's gonna be gobbled up here by Ari Deemers. They've got themselves a four-point lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. We're through one. Order of basketball. Oh, easy, easy. I think I'm good. You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> oh, it's egg-tastic. You never know what dish you're going to end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded. <laughs> Throwing some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds. Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99, here I come. Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat. If it's fire damage, Agent Fred Iron. From burnt to unburnt, he does that. Fifteen eleven, West Hope Newburgh on top. The end of the first quarter of play. Time for our second. Ari Deemers is in blue here tonight. West Hope Newburgh in white. Eby puts it up and in for his first points of the ball game on the offensive glass. In the paint, Broughton goes after it, gets his own rebound. Left-handed, no good. Second attempt, weakly towered up and weakly stripped it. Here come the Knights back again. Work back around. Off of Noah Erickson comes back away here now to call it Swenson. 
Worked inside weakly from the elbow. Missed. Board pulled down here. Will Arts has it. Brings it back across the timeline, and it's set up here by the Sioux. 55 seconds in to the second quarter. On its way for three. Bounced around off the mark there from Dalton Hawkins. Ari Devers coast to coast. The pass, the gimme underneath. EB just missed. Gets his own rebound. Up top it comes again. Handling now Francis. Delivered off here. This is Swenson. Colin Swenson inside again to Weekly. Swenson gets it back. He on corks for three. Foul charged inside. I didn't hear the whistle. That shot did not count from downtown. Nolan Schmidt checks in for the night. Was that not a foul on that play? I guess I'm not sure what it was. It was foul charged on Tolstead. Would that be his second? No, no foul on the play. Ball must have just went out of play here on the near sidelines. Blood timeout is what it was. Thank you, Jenny. Three on the other side, no good. Rebound taken back up. Knights have possession again. Erickson's got it. Swenson robbed of the three on the blood timeout. Ball goes inside underneath, crashing around, unable to fall for Eby. He's going to battle for the rebound here, and away with it it comes. Broughton has it. Already has a thousand points in his career. Puts it off the window. Count the bucket. He's fouled on the play. The sophomore all region, all district player has five now with a chance to make it six oh, from the Sir Pro free throw line. line. Walker, Broughton, and one. Second one on its way from the free throw line here in this ball game. Only two free throws have been shot. One on the other side for Noah Erickson, one for one. And Walker Broughton converts on the serve pro free throw line attempt on the and one, and he nets it. Three points of difference right now with under six to play first half. Knights have possession here. They work it up top. Ball comes back away now here to Erickson. Eby calling forward in deep. Francis just with a runner. Jump shot. Oh, that was pure for Francis. Five for Francis. And a five-point lead. Ari Deemers, the team that went two and one inside the region, one and two inside the district. 10 and 10 overall on the season. According to North Dakota High School Activities Association web, website coming in, they are the number four seed coming out of district number 12. They lead the district 11 one seed right now by a score of 1914 here on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Big thanks again to the UPS store located on South Broadway in Minot. The UPS store for your packing and shipping needs. It's the UPS store. Located in the Marketplace Foods Plaza. Knights with possession. And a five-point lead. Around the horn from Erickson. Erickson gets it back over on the left side. Kisses the window. He scores and he's fouled. That's six for Erickson. From field goal range, he's got an extra one to make it seven from the serve pro free throw strike. And he's got the and one opportunity coming here. He's got a game high here in this ball game. Can't get the old fashioned play to work. But the lead's still at seven with under five to play here in our opening half. Knights have possession. They go around the horn with it. Will Arts has it here. Arts kicked it down over now to Bailey. Ball comes back away here to the Knights. They've got it off the head. Comes here now for Swenson. He kicks it back. Up top, into the hands. It comes for Erickson, the senior. One handed off the glass. And in. And Noah Erickson starting to heat up just a bit here for the Knights. 425 to play. First half. That shot inside missed. Noah Erickson, his second. 
Dalton Hawkins in for the Sioux, Chase Weekly, and Peyton Limbo for the Knights. Thank you, Mr. Steve Pinno, the voice of Region 6. He and Jeff Rose again here today. Rich by Benno also into the bowl game. Those two gentlemen have done a great job inside of Region 6 athletics for the past handful of seasons, playing the music and the announcing duties. Job well done, fellas, as always. West Hope Newberg with the basketball into the lane and then out it came for Bailey. Worked up top here, travel the violation. Dalton Hawkins was charged with the travel. Here with 412 to tick down. Prestwich Orthodontics at MonetBraces.com wishing everybody inside of tournament coverage and tournament play the best of luck this season. Visit MonetBraces.com. Free virtual consultations, financing options are available. Confidence in your smile and your game is a win-win at Prestwich Orthodontics. Morgan, Another blood timeout it looks like here. 412 to tick down first half. Join us for the region semifinals tomorrow night. We'll have the region semifinals of region five and six. Washburn had a buzzer beater shot to take down Wilton Wing. That was an upset down in region five. Todd Domries, Cole Higlin, Joe Cattell, and Scott Woodmancy on the call from St. Mary's High School, that gymnasium. Perry Hansen join us tomorrow from the Hoopster Magazine here at the Dome. Big thanks again to University of Jamestown and Roll Online. Classes at the University of Jamestown coming up. We also want to thank United Tribes Technical College for their continued support of the PSP Network. To the free throw line, Walker Broughton. Walker Broughton goes to the Sur Pro free throw line. Can he get number seven? He can. That brought name has been around in the West Hope basketball program for years. Brothers and sisters of his absolutely shining. It's now three for three from the serve pro line here in this ball game, according to my count. Jinx him there as he goes three for four now. Kicked up top, deep three on its way, no good. Underneath, Broughton cleans it up. He's got the rebound. He's got 10 of the ball game. 328 ticks down here in the first half. It's been around five, the majority of this second quarter of basketball with Ari Demers on top. Around the horn they go now here with Swenson. He looks to deliver off to Weekly, the left-handed three off the mark. Pulled out of there by Bailey, and Bailey goes to work with it. Broughton, deep three, way downtown. Swoosh! Walker Broughton! Walker Broughton all the way down at Planet Pizza. Buries a three-pointer, and the lead cut to two. Here come the West Hope Newburgh Sioux. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. Tournament coverage on the PSP Network brought to you by Planet Pizza. 701-852-1700. Call and order one of those Blue Buffalo pizzas now, I'm telling you. It's a bit spicy, but it is delicious. Coast to coast, easy land. Brandon, Brandon. And Braden Bailey 
Kelly has his first points of the ball game. We are tied at 23. Ari Demers has been in the driver's seat for the majority of this ball game here tonight, but now it's the Sioux that are on the 5-0 run. Weekly's got it. Weekly crashing in. Has a jump shot rolled around the rim. Up after it, Bailey's got it. And Bailey brings it across the timeline. Ball comes back away here inside. It's going to be a travel violation. LeMay is going to be charged there. And LeMay turns the ball over inside the paint. Northern Plains Heating and Air brings you the ball game here today. Northern Plains Heating and Air, 25 years. It's your factory authorized dealer for AeroSeal. No other choice to seal your heating and air game than Northern Plains Heating and Air. Ari Demers tosses the basketball away. And the Sioux will get the ball back. Update from Region 5. Number eight ranked Garrison leads Max by 10 early on in that ball game here tonight. Here come the Sioux back over the timeline. Bailey, the all region player, all district player, I should say, comes off down to Broughton. He's forced to the middle. Swenson steals it. And now Swenson delivers off here down to Limbo. Limbo over the corner, comes back away, runner put up. Oh, big block. Broughton slammed the door. Walker Broughton says, I don't think so. 142 left here in our first half. James Jackson here from the Bonnet Daily News. Make sure to pick up a Bonnet Daily News tomorrow. If you like that guy's articles, I highly recommend that you email the Bonnet Daily and let him know how good of a job he does. I certainly do that from time to time. He's fantastic. Great work for James Jackson. Ball comes back away now to the Knights. They've got possession here. Turning into a slug fest here in the Magic City. Into the paint. Runner put up no good. Broughton's got it. And Walker Broughton starts the motor down. One minute, nine seconds to play here. Opening half downtown. Swoosh. Braden Bailey hits the three. And it's 26-23 Sioux. Uncle Mo and momentum is on the side right now of West Home Newburgh. That pendulum swinging towards West Home Newburgh's side for the majority of the late portion of this second quarter. Weekly off the mark as he went into the paint and fired. Ball comes back away down to Linbo. Linbo's up top with it. Ball comes away down to Francis. Francis has it here. And Francis sends it off now to Swenson. Then Weekly again inside. Ball comes away. Swenson corner pocket. You betcha. Swenson for three with his first points of the ball game. 26-26 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Ball comes in to the hands of Broughton. There's going to be a foul called here. Todd Hoffman, veteran official inside of North Dakota High School hoops. He had the call. Andrew Eby is going to be charged with his first personal. 8.6 to play here opening half. BNC Bank scoreboard starts to tick down as Broughton goes to the baseline. Up with the shot, letting him play here tonight. Ball comes back away with one. Here's Francis at the horn. Oh, just off the rim as Francis just missed. Well, we gain some ground, then we lose some ground because we're tied at 26 aside at the end of one half of basketball. Here on the PSP Network, it's Region 6 tournament coverage. And boy, do we have a good one tonight here in the Magic City. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, 
Qdoba, Jersey Mike Stubbs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Presswich Orthodontics, Hub International, The UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, Bibetto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, ServPro, BNC National Bank, Shields. Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Love your car and when you get in an accident you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new we're jerome's collision center and when you need us we'll be there for you jerome's collision center find out for yourself Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. The magic of what we do really comes down to combining different aspects of patient care. Here at Premier Chiropractic, we love combining soft tissue work, the adjustment and exercises together. We found that this gets the best results for our patients. We have three chiropractors to fit the needs of the entire family, a rehab area for our exercises and equipment for any athlete to improve performance. Give us a call and we will get you back to doing what you love. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers. Moving in storage. I'm a grateful person on a lot of levels. I've been given so many great opportunities. But most of all, even as a little kid, I was taught a set of values. Like tools for life, hard work, responsibility, and the key to making it all work, commitment. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Ackerman Esvold, your neighbors, friends, and family who are working for you. The local team with local availability and accountability for all of your engineering, architecture, environmental, transportation, and land development needs. Your project can rely on Ackerman Esvold. Find them online at ackermanesvold.com. When you start your project, talk with Ackerman Surveying and Associates. Our experienced surveying team guides you in the right direction with planning, planning, and lot and boundary surveys. The trusted name in land surveying. The trusted name 
in architecture and engineering is Ackerman Survey and Ackerman Esfold. Find them at AckermanEsfold.com. What you're witnessing actually happens. This is a sad story about bad math. Bad math? Does your online company include mounting? You can't beat the online pricing. When you have the mounting, the shipping, and all the extras, it's just simple math. We guarantee the lowest prices. Our plus plan is simply better, a less expensive way to buy tires. Thinking tires, think tires plus. I wasn't really thinking about the shots, honestly. It just, the shots came to me. Derek and Eric especially had some great drives, you know, which led some great kicks. Shout out to them. You know, it feels good. For you to come out here from a defensive effort against Eagles staff, I mean, you're way smaller than him. Obviously, I mean, how did you get yourself pumped up for that? Well, you know, Coach has a thing that says, height doesn't matter heart, and I strongly believe in that, you know, I got the heart. And it doesn't matter if I got the height or not. That line, good luck next week. Yeah, yeah. All right, great job. I don't have the height, but I got the heart. That was a pretty cool sign right there by Jagger Gundo. Back up to you guys. Yes, and now. Finding the right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? <laughs> Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off! Seven, pressure, points, yeah! It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here? Ah. That's a spot! Right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. complete in our night session here tonight where our redeemers and West Hope Newburgh are tied. Welcome back into the show now. Premier Chiropractic brings you our half times here on the PSP network. A short halftime show here tonight. So business we had to take care of behind the scenes. Big thank you again to Premier Chiropractic ND.com. Our family's choice for chiropractic care in the Magic City. Little guy Mike Kohlberg, he's only two years old. He loves Dr. Becky Perry Domri's at Premier Chiropractic. I'm a big fan of Dr. Kirk Mason, and my wife likes Dr. Cody Haugen at Premier Chiropractic. Hawkins opens the scoring. 
in the second half. Then a collision here on the court. Hawkins now has two in the ball game. Well, the scoring in the first half looks like this. For the R.E. Demers Knights, they had six scorers in the book for 26 points. Three three-pointers were hit. They went one for two from the Serb Pro line. They were led by nine from Erickson, five from Francis, four from Jace Weekly, three from Linbo, three for Swenson, and E.B. had two for the Sioux. Four scorers in the books. They had five three-pointers in that first half. There's a three, speaking of which, Noah Erickson from downtown. That was clean. 13 points for Walker Broughton. He leads all scorers of the ball game. Six for Will Arts, five for Bailey, and two for Hunter Tolstead. And three for four for the Sur Pro free throw line here for the Sioux from West Home Newburgh. Awesome. Colin Swenson. Colin Swenson's going to pick up his first personal. Sends Brayden Bailey to the Sur Pro free throw line. And Bailey's got his first trip here to the Sur Pro line in this ball game. Misses the first. Weekly's going to check in. Swenson will check out here for our Redeemers. Quick conversation with Brock Teets. Over on the far sideline. That one's going to fall in for Bailey. And Bailey has his first points here in the second half. He's got six now in the ball game. Ball comes away to the Knights. They've got possession here. It's going to be a jump basketball coming here as Broughton got the pause on the basketball. Trying to take it there from Colton Francis. They're tied up. The arrow belongs here to the Knights. They've got possession. Knights have the basketball. Seven on the dot to play here in this third quarter. We're tied at 29. Ball bounces around. We're not tied any longer. Wyatt Weekly. Three-pointer for him. His first three-pointer of the ball game. Underneath the hoop. Ball goes off of traffic and out of play. This ball game brought to you in part by our friends once again at Prestwich Orthodontics. Prestwich Orthodontics. Confidence in your game and your smile is a win-win. Best of luck to all the teams and the 2023 tournament season from Prestwich Orthodontics. Virtual consultations and financing options can be found at Prestwich Orthodontics. Visit them online, minorbraces.com. Knights with possession. Off the runner, off the window, no good there for Noah Erickson. There's a foul on the play inside. On the rebound attempt, the foul was charged. It's going to be on Erickson. That's number three here on Noah Erickson. Sue from West Hope Newburgh trying to claw back in this ball game. They're not down by many right now. It's been a teeter-totter match here tonight. 15-11, West Hope Newburgh. The end of the first quarter, 26-26. At the half, awesome. who's going to come Arts. on top at the end of this third? Will Arts was charged with a foul. That's his first. Arts, the sophomore guard here for the Sioux. A couple big three-pointers in that first half of basketball. Ball's up top here for the Knights. They work it inside. Weekly jump shot. He got it. Andrew. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Andrew Eby. I do apologize. E.B. and Weekly look pretty similar when you look at them. 33 along with the big man, Jace Weekly, number 10. A couple towers, they have the same haircut and everything. Ball comes back away now as E.B. pulled down the board. Here come the Knights across the timeline. Noah Erickson has it here. He surveys. Sets the offense and delivers off now to Francis. Make that... Yeah, it is Francis back over. Here's Weekly from the elbow. You bet. Chase Weekly. Chase Weekly's got his first points of the second half. Six total here in the ball game. Bailey kicks it off to the corner. Hawkins, no good. Back down come the Knights of the Knights have possession. They drop it back over. They work it up top. This play starts to come to volume just a bit. Nice dish inside. Take it here. EB is 
crazy look. And Evie puts it up and in. Sue call a timeout because we've seen the biggest lead of the ball game all of a sudden. A pass here for Ari Deemers. 38-29 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers. Moving in storage. Walker Broughton battling inside. And there's going to be a foul on the play. Nolan Schmidt charged on the foul. That's his first personal. The eighth grader here for our Redeemers. Biggest lead of the ball game here for the Knights. They had a lead like this in the first half as well. Sue trying to work into it. That shot from inside the paint came from Dalton Hawkins. He's fouled. Noah Erickson's going to pick up number four. Noah Erickson, his fourth. To the free throw line, Dalton Hawkins. Sends Dalton Hawkins to the serve pro free throw line. Hawkins misses on his first. Serve Pro with 24 7 emergency service with trained technicians and advanced technologies. It's Serve Pro. Second one rolls around and Hawkins scores. Hawkins now has three in the ballgame. Ball comes back away now here to the Knights. Full court presses on here. As the Sioux making it difficult to get across the timeline. 407 ticks down. Francis up top, dribble drive. Little runner in the paint, no good. Still scrubbing for it. Who's out with the rebound? That was weekly that got it out. The ball comes back away to the near corner. Here where Francis goes to work. Weekly drops it inside. Good feed there. And Nolan Schmidt's got his first two points of the ball game. Biggest lead yet, 10 points. That shot off the mark as it was blocked inside by Weekly. Swenson back across, delivers over now here to Wyatt Weekly. Up top, works it to Jace Weekly. Comes back down to Nolan Schmidt, and Schmidt from the Sir Pro free throw line had the air ball. Didn't touch anybody, no one did not. Big thanks again to Premier Chiropractic bringing you tournament coverage. Premier Chiropractic, ND.com, our family's choice for chiropractic care in the Magic City. Again, it's Premier Chiropractic. Ten points the difference here in this ball game right now. The Knights trying to make it a clean sweep for District Number 12 here at the Region 6 tournament. 30-point win earlier on today for Bishop Ryan. They took down Botno 67-37. Battle inside, ball taken by the Knights on the rebound pulled down there. In the last game, we saw Velva fall to MLS 56-51. And later on tonight, number two DLB, they're receiving some votes inside of North Dakota. They take on TGU. Ball comes back away now here to the Sioux. Broughton's got it, pulls up for three off the side of the rib. The board battle has been won here in the second half by the Knights. That's the difference right now in the ball game. And they have a 10 point lead. Weekly down to the corner, comes to Francis. Francis surveying up top, goes back down to Swenson. Swenson back to Weekly. This is Wyatt Weekly indeed. 
Eby sets the screen. Now the ball is going to be freed. Screen set again. Who touched it last? They're going to say it went off of the Sioux, so it's night basketball. Jersey Mike subs is a sub above. It's Jersey Mike's. Limbo and Jace Weekly in the Knights. Bringing you the player of the week each and every week on the PSP Network. Jersey Mike subs is a sub above. Deep three on its way. Swoosh. Limbo. Limbo has been quiet here in the ball game except for his three-pointer of the first half for the most recent three-pointer there that gives the Knights their biggest lead. 13 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Cut it back to 10 as it was countered by Dalton Hawkins from downtown. 10 the difference on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Knights have possession. They go around up top again. Take it here by Peyton Limbo. He delivered off inside the lane. Nice defense there again. Walker Broughton got the arm in the way, knocked it out. They're going to say it was last touched off the hands of Nolan Back Schmidt. The floor the Knights, Andrew Join us tomorrow night for semifinal coverage from right here at the Magic City. Semifinals tomorrow night. Bishop Ryan taking on MLS. The winner of this game between R.A. Deemers and West Hope Newberg will take on the winner of DLB and TGU that comes up next. Bishop Ryan, the favorite team in this Region 6 tournament to go back to the state. And the state B coming up next week in Bismarck at the event center. We'll have coverage of the state B coming your way on the PSP network. Todd Domery, Scott Woodband, C and I will be down at Bismarck for the State B. It should be a great weekend of basketball, but first the State Super A this week coming up. We'll have digital radio coverage coming your way of that event as well. Thursday will be a busy night. The PSP Network will have four live broadcasts for you fans coming up on Thursday. That was Braden Bailey from the Serve Pro free throw line that hit both. He's now three for four here in the second half for the serve pro strike. Knights had a 13 point lead, but it's been cut down to eight. Here by the Sioux, Knights trying to build again. Take it here up top by Swenson, had that ball poked out of his hands. Defensive pressure from Bailey was on. Colin Swenson's got it here. And Swenson inbounds. Sends it off to Francis. Francis on the drive. Francis towers it up. He gets his own rebound back. Comes up. Swenson downtown in front of the rim. Broughton went up after the rebound. 13 of the first half for Walker Broughton. He led all scores. He hasn't scored yet in the second. And weakly stuffs him on the play. 30 seconds to play here, third quarter. Broughton was denied by the big man weakly inside. And Francis has possession. To Swenson, back to Francis. Knights look for their final shot here in the third quarter. But Walker Broughton away from the basketball is going to be charged with the foul. It's number two on Walker Broughton here in this ball game. 43-35, Ari Deemers leads this Region 6 quarterfinal matchup. Kick back around up top, step through, work back up, weekly downtown, no good. One more chance here for Broughton, he's hounded, trying to get it across the half court line, needs to fire, he does, it's on its way. Horn sounded first, however, and we are through three quarters of basketball. Ari Deemers. Has themselves a 43-35 lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Really thinking about the shots, honestly, it just the shots came to me. Derek and Eric especially had some great drives, you know, which led some great picks. Shout out to them. You know, it feels good. For you to come out here from a defensive effort against Eagle Staff, I mean, you're way smaller than him. Obviously, I mean, how did you get yourself pumped up for that? Well, you know, Coach has a thing that says height doesn't matter heart, and I strongly believe in that. You know, I got the heart. Doesn't matter if I got the height or not. That line, good luck next week. Yeah, yeah. All right, great job. 
I don't have the height, but I got the heart. That was a pretty cool <laughs> sign right there by Jagger Gunville. Back up to you guys. Yes, and now. side of the MSU Dome here tonight. They must have heard that call on the Arts three-pointer earlier on here in this ball game. Talked about him from the country roads, nailing his second three-pointer. Little sing-along here at the MSU Dome. Here tonight, 43-35. The Knights have the lead after the third quarter. Can the number one seed out of district number 11 come back to this ball game? They've got the personnel to do it, including this young man right here, Walker Broughton. He goes down to the baseline. He's fouled on the play. Fouls on Nolan Schmidt, his third. Nolan Schmidt picks up his third. Inside, Broughton missed. Towered up, got his own rebound. Kisses the glass and scores. 15 now for Walker Broughton. Off ahead it comes for the Knights. They've got possession here. They go back away now on the near wing. Limbo with a pair of threes in the ball game goes off to Francis. West Hope student section loud as is the R.A. Deemer student section right now with 7.15 to play. Inside, E.B. post play, puts it up, missed. Broughton towered up after it. He's got possession, and now we go the other direction here for the Sioux. Ball's worked inside. Over by himself. Will Arts, corner pocket. That one missed. Evie went down. Oh, scary play there. On the end line it went. Walker Broughton was on the ground, and then Evie landed on top of him. Basketball will go back to the Knights here. Always scary when somebody ends up on the ground underneath the hoop. Both players are okay. With possession, the Knights have the basketball. Nolan Schmidt's got it, delivers off here now to call it Swenson. Swenson goes back away down to Limbo. Up top it comes, EB handling, got it to Swenson. Shot clock's gonna wear down to 10. Brock Teets, veteran coach in Region 6, calls the shots. This place at volume, they need to hurry, they're at four. Comes back away, Francis way downtown. All the banks open, kisses it in, and Francis has his second three-pointer of the ball game. That brought the Ari Deemers fans to their feet. An 11-point lead. Got a turnover from Hawkins. Stick around for our Planning Team Financial Advisors Shots Crossroads postgame show tonight. Planning Team Financial Advisors at Shots Crossroads bring you the postgame. Team buses are always welcome at Shots Crossroads. Stop in and try that delicious menu that includes the famous number 99 at Shots Crossroads. I'm a big fan of the banana cream pie at Shots Crossroads. Delicious stuff at Shots. Planning Team Financial Advisors, whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, it's Planning Team Financial. Knights have possession. Francis will be fouled. And Walker Broughton commits the crime for the third time here tonight. 13 in the first half, only two points here in the second for Walker Broughton. One of the top players inside of Region 6. Here in this ball game, only a sophomore. He's already got a thousand points in his career. Into the paint, Lion Weekly back up top to Swenson. Francis thought about it after he nailed a three-pointer with a shot clock wound down to one. Ball comes back away now here after LeMay stripped it, and the Sioux bring it across the timeline. Up top here for the Sioux, dribble move here for Bailey. Taken away by the Knights, they've got possession again. And now it's Francis that will carry across. Nine point lead. Here for the Knights, they've got the basketball. 
Eby up top. Wyatt weekly from downtown, he missed. Broughton brings it back the other direction here for the Sioux. Broughton moved it across, back away now to Arts. In the paint, finds LeMay, puts it off the window, and LeMay has his first two points of the contest. Well, it's not over yet by any means. This one's been a good one. But we're going to get a timeout coming now for Brock Teets. 46-39, the Knights have the lead on the West Hope Newburg Sioux. This is Region 6 tournament coverage here on the PSP Network. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. Well, Walker Broughton's got himself a double-double right now. 15 rebounds and 15 points in the ball game. But he's been quiet here in the second half for West Hope Newburgh. And the Knights lead the Sioux with 4.42 to play here in regulation. DLB and TGU come up next here on the PSP Network. Tournament time, one of the greatest times of the year. Especially for basketball fans, March Madness is officially underway at the high school level. College tournaments off and running, getting into the big dance for college basketball as well. Inside. Weekly towers up. He missed on that shot. Arts comes away to Bailey. Off to the corner for Arts with a pair of threes in this ball game. Brought inside, all oh, weakly stripped it from him. And we're gonna have a jump basketball coming. Knights have the arrow. Tonight's game brought to you in part by our friends at Roger Ward Moving and Storage. Roger Ward proudly helping the region with their moving and storage needs since 1942. It's Roger Ward Moving and Storage. Weekly across to Francis. Broughton read that one like a book. He's going to carry in. Broughton goes up. Ball, then he's stumped by Weekly. Rebound underneath, trying to put it back home was Tolstead. Big collision at midcourt there. And then the aftermath underneath the hoop results in a foul on the play. And West Hope Newberg getting the basketball. Jace Weekly picks up his first personal of the ball game. He's only got six points here tonight, but boy, he's had some duties here in this ball game. Battling against Walker Broughton in this contest, and he's done a great job here in this game. Pair of sophomores going head to head. Tolstad goes to the free throw line. Got the scoring started early on in the first half. We haven't heard from him since. Sir Pro free throw line for Tolstad is good. Lead cut down to six. Second one for Tolstead, bouncing around, didn't fall in for him. Who touched it last? It was Arch, so the ball went on to play. Lesman in for the Sioux. Lesman checks in for the Sioux. Full court presses on here for West Hope Newber. Ball comes up to midcourt. Swenson has it. Swenson works it off, drop down, jump shot. Uncontested there, that one just missed for Nolan Schmidt. Here come the Sioux again. Well, this one's got the makings for some drama at the end. Bailey crashing in, puts it up and scores. 
Bailey's first field goal here in the second half. He's got 10 now in the ball game. Lead cut down to four. Knights with possession, take away from the Sioux. And the Sioux bring it back across here with Arts. He goes to work with it. Arts dribbles away here to the near side. On a play, it went off of the Knights, and it will be West Hope Newburgh basketball. We'll have full coverage of this Region 6 tournament here at the Dome on top of Bonnets North Hill. I'll have the semifinal call tomorrow with Perry Hansen from the Hoopster Magazine. He'll join me for both semis tomorrow night. Scotty Kay will have the call of the Region 6 championship and third place games coming up on Thursday. Because I'll be on my way to Fargo and in Fargo for the state Super A basketball tournament. Knights. Get the rebound. They bring it across the timeline here for Noah Erickson. Erickson dished off, came back up here. Now Swenson's got it. Goes up top for EB. Oh, look at that play. Jumping up and smacking it out. Hunter Tolstad said, I don't think so. Well, can West Hope Newberg come back here in this ball game? They trailed 43-35 at the end of the third quarter. Knights with possession. Jump shot from three, no good for Swenson. Broughton with another rebound here in this ball game. Walker Broughton on the dribble drive, takes it up. Oh, he's stuffed, but he's fouled on the play, and Broughton will go to the serve pro free throw line just for the second, make it first time here in the second half. He went three for four in the first half from the serve pro stripe earlier on tonight. Broughton's got the opportunity with this shot from the serve pro strike to cut the lead to three. Serve pro 24 7 emergency service with trained technicians at serve pro. And Broughton missed. Second attempt coming here for Walker Broughton. Made that one count. And now it's a three point lead here for the Knights with 2 10 to play in regulation. Things are getting intense at the MSU Dome. Full court press out again. Knights will break it with Peyton Limbo. Maybe not quite yet, now they do. Nolan Schmidt's got it. Goes up to Francis. He banked in a giant three-pointer here in this ball game. Since that point, it's been West Hope Newberg that's clawed their way back in. And now Brock Teets wants to set the offense with a timeout. 46-43. The Knights from Ari Demers are on top here in the showdown. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's gonna call a play. All right, let's go. A high right zoom. Spider two wide banana. You don't like that one, okay? High right 40 power. No. You don't want that one either. No. All right, go kick off. Get out of here. Let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Looking to rent quality brand equipment for a project by the day, week, or month? At Bobcat of Mandan, we have the equipment you need to do any job for as long as you need it. Check out our entire fleet of skid steers, track loaders, excavators, tractors, and zero-turn mowers. We have an attachment for every project. Just call. We rent trailers upon availability, and delivery is available. Ask about our rent-to-own program. See our full Bobcat rental inventory at bobcatofmandan.com. Everything you need to get the job done. Bobcat of Mandan. One minute and 50 seconds to play here in regulation. Sioux lead the Knights, or sorry, the Knights lead the Sioux 46-43, I apologize. Been saying all night that Walker Broughton's got a thousand points in his career. Let's give him the credit he deserves. He's got 1,500 plus points in his career. Broughton's got it here. He brings it ahead forward, snakes his way through. 
He goes up. He's going to be fouled on the play. And Broughton will go back to the serve pro free throw line. Foul is charged on Colin Swenson. That's his second personal. Here's Broughton from the serve pro stripe. Misses the first again. Well, you look at our Redeemers last year. They went 13 and 11 in their season. Took fourth inside the district. Qualified for the region tournament. Got bounced on the opening round of the tournament. Broughton misses both, by the way. Sioux are going to get the basketball back with 94 seconds left as it went off on the Knights. They were led last year by Zach Hendrickson, a second team All-State selection. One of the top players in North Dakota last year. Broughton sends it in. Here's Arts inside. Goes again to Broughton, and Broughton is going to be wrangled here on the end line out of play on the Knights, so it will be Sioux basketball again. Sent up top, top, Bailey. Wheels it around the perimeter. Sent inside. Rotten double team. Freeze the look here. Off the window and in. Hunter Tolstead's got his first field goal of the ball game. That's point number three for Tolstead. And now the Sioux are within one. Knights have possession. Francis up top. Swenson now. Goes up here to Jace Weekly. Weekly hounded there off of Hunter Tolstead. Weekly's got it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Kicked it up. Stop again now for Schmidt. Trying to go back to Weekly underneath. Weekly went up and he's fouled on the play. Two shots coming here for Jace Weekly. Hunter Tolstead. Hunter Tolstead's going to be charged with his second. Sends Jace Weekly to the Serb Pro free throw line. First attempt here today for the big man from the Serb Pro stripe. First one's on its way, and it is good. EB checks in for the Knights. Out goes Peyton Limbo. Jace Weekly has a chance to extend the lead to three. Hits the front of the rim. 46 seconds to play here in regulation. 47-45, Knights are on top, but it's the Sioux with possession. Broughton on the dribble drive, carries in, caught the bucket, oh no, it's an offensive. Broughton charged with the offensive foul as he skied up. The feet were planted in the paint. And Walker Broughton just picked up his fourth personal foul on what looked to be the game-tying bucket as he sailed through the air, but the feet were cemented down. Sue intercept the basketball. It's going to be a foul coming here. Is that a foul? Is that not a foul? It's not a foul. It was out of bounds. Thank you, Jenny. I'm out for the Knights. Ari Niebers is going to talk things over. Two-point lead with 33 seconds remaining here in regulation. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaghan, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. Obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Buckle up tight, 33.3 seconds left in regulation. You win, you advance, you lose, your season is done. And right now it's the Knights with the basketball and a two-point lead with the shot clock off as this one comes down the stretch. Feeling the pressure here are the Knights. They've got possession now. The foul will be charged inside.
Foul's going to be on number five. Lesman, Lesman picks up his first here in the second half. Uh, sorry, make that a second. I apologize. Nolan Schmidt goes to the serve pro charity stripe for his first free throw coming here from the serve pro line. But the Sioux call a timeout. We'll take one as well. 25 seconds left here in regulation. Hold is an experienced team of architects and civil engineers committed to achieving the best possible solution for every project. Over the past 20 years, our team has been trusted with jobs big and small throughout the state. From major flood protection projects to county roads, classroom walls, and community spaces. We will be your partner through the initial design to final construction. Trust the Ackerman Estfold team with your next project. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Two point lead for the Knights is now a three point lead because Nolan Schmidt hits one from the Serve Pro charity strike. Serve Pro 24 7 emergency service with trained technicians at Serve Pro. Big time free throws for Nolan Schmidt. The Sioux need to hurry. 23 seconds left here in regulation. Bailey's got it up top. Bailey on the dribble drive, sends it in deep. Arch puts it off the glass and scores. Lead cut back to two. 49 47 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. The Knights have the lead and the basketball when we come back to the Magic City. I don't know where this goes. I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't clicking and not a zoom, zoom? I think your quash litter bell stuck. Do you even have insurance? If we soak it, so it should be good. <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle, trust the experts at Tires Plus. Real answers from real mechanics. Inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition. Thinking service, think Tires Plus. Love your car and when you get in an accident you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new we're jerome's collision center and when you need us we'll be there for you jerome's collision center find out for yourself two point lead for our redeemers in the quarterfinals of the region six tournament francis off the inbound he's going to be Fouled quickly there by Brayden Bailey. Bailey's played a good game here today. Bailey with 10 points in the ball game. Second personal on him. Francis goes to the serve pro free throw line. Eight so far in the ball game here tonight for him. Another big free throw. Leads back to three. Brock Teets telling his Knights to pull out. Go back and wait for the Sioux rush coming here. Second one on its way, rolls in. Giant three-pointer. I'm sorry, giant free throw again here for Francis. Deep three coming, Bailey downtown, no good. Weekly after the rebound, comes away to Francis. 3.8 left here in this ball game, and the R.A. Demers fans come to their feet. Jace Weekly is going to go down to the Serb Pro free throw line again. He's one for two here in the ballgame. They get two for three now as he nets his first. Stick around for our planning team, financial advisors, and Shots Crossroads postgame show. 
back to back for weekly. And the Sioux call a timeout here. Trailing 47 53 with 3.8 remaining here in the ballgame. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaghan, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. Knights fans are on their feet with 3.8 left here in the ball game. Sue need to hurry, deep three off the mark. And it goes final, 53-47. Ari Demers makes it three for three for district number 12 here in the region six tournament. Let's move to our planning team financial advisor, Shots Crossroads post game show. The Knights are victorious in the Region 6 Tournament. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners The Bone and Joint Center Ask Fitness Thompson Larson Funeral Home First Choice Physical Therapy The Hoopster KX News Century Eyewear 701 Realty North Country Sportswear Morelli's Distributing, Qdoba, Jersey Mike Subs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Presswich Orthodontics, Hub International, the UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, Vibeto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, ServPro, BNC National Bank, Shields. Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of Finrun Sipic. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Oh, easy, easy. I think I'm good. You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> oh, it's egg-tastic. You never know what dish you're going to end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag-teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded. 
Oops. <laughs> Throw in some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds. Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99. Here I come. Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat. It's time for the Shots Crossroads and Planning Team Financial Advisors post-game show. Now for a look at game stats and analysis. Let's go to the post-game show. Our Redeemers Knights are victorious, 53-47 over the West Hope Newburgh Sioux. Welcome in to our Planning Team Financial Advisors and Shots Crossroads post-game show. Here tonight, we're going to hop right into our player of the game interview here tonight. It's Jace Weekly, the sophomore center. Nine total for you tonight, but boy, you were big down the stretch from the Sir Pro free throw line tonight. To defensively, your game was good tonight. First things first, how are you feeling? I mean, it feels pretty good to uh, win our first game, but we still got to win two more, and that's really the end goal at the end of the day. So. Yeah, the, the mission is obviously set for Ari Demers. What's it like going into the locker room with Brock Teets at the half? Tied 26-26 in a region matchup. That's got to be a pretty unique experience, huh? Oh, yeah. He he knows that we're doing good, but we can still do better. And we can do better defensively. We can do better offensively. There's always the little things that we do. And that's really the main focus is always doing the little things. For you, what's that feeling like being at the Serb Pro free throw line late in a ball game like that with a chance to almost ice the thing? I mean, it is pretty nerve wracking, but I just try to treat it like any other free throw. Just shoot the ball, do my routine, and it'll go in. You did it well here tonight. DLB and TGU play right now. What will it take tomorrow night against one of these two teams to move on to the region final? DLB is obviously good, TGU the real deal as well. Yeah, against DLB, we're going to have to really step up defensively. They got tall kids, 6'9", 6'4". They're really fast, really big. TGU, they've got some tall kids, too. They can, they got some guys that can shoot, so we're going to have to really step it up defensively. Congratulations, man. Great job for you Thank here you. tonight. You're our MVP of the game. Jace Weekly, a job well done. I'll let you go back to your teammates and celebrate here tonight, my friend. Good outing for him. Ends the ball game here with nine tonight, but he was clutched down the stretch. We had a little mistake there. We had Noah Erickson, who had 12 of the ball game. He led all scorers here in this contest tonight. We had him lined up. He came up here. He said, I fall down to the ball game, man. I don't think you want me. I said, well, who should we grab? And he said, hands down, Jace Weekly. That's a teammate right there. I said, absolutely, my friend. Let's do it. So we bring in Jace Weekly as our MVP of the game. Time for the recap of this showdown here tonight as our Redeemers advances in to the semifinals of the Region 6 tournament. Take a look at that tournament graphic. And you can see that Bishop Ryan and MLS will play in the first semi. Our Redeemers will play the winner of this one. It's either DLB or TGU. Here's how the Knights did it tonight. It's time for your game reset brought to you by Planning Team Financial Advisors. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for far more business succession, Planning Team can help you along the way. And Shots Crossroads, where you can get fueled up on that delicious menu that includes the famous number 99. I like the banana cream pie. More of a two eggs, hash browns, sausage patties kind of a guy. Got to put cheese on those hash browns as well. It's all good at Shots Crossroads. They bring you the recap tonight as well. Let's start with the Sioux from West Hope Newburgh. In total tonight, they had six scores in the books. They went. Five for 10 from the Serb Pro free throw line here tonight. They hit six three-pointers for 47 points. They were led to scoring here tonight by 16. That was a game high for Walker Broughton. 1,500 point score in his career. Sophomore year comes to an end here tonight, however, with 16. Five tonight for Hunter Tolstead. Two tonight for Morgan LeMay. Six for Hawkins. 10 for Bailey. And eight to the ball game for Will Arts. The Sioux will end their season at 11 and 11 overall on the year. For the Knights from Ari Demers, who improved to 11 and 10 on the season, well, they had eight scores in the books tonight. They hit seven three pointers, and they went eight of 10 from the Serb Pro free throw line here tonight. They only missed twice from the Serb Pro line, a pretty high number for them. 
53 points in total. Team high, 12 here tonight for Noah Erickson, 10 for Colton Francis, 9 for Jace Weekly, 3 for Wyatt Weekly, 4 for Nolan Schmidt, 6 here tonight for Peyton Limbo, 3 for Colin Swenson, and 6 tonight for Andrew Eby. Time for tonight's Move of the game brought to you by our friends at Jobbers Moving and Storage. Whether you're moving across town or across the country, Jobbers can help you with your moving and storage needs. It's Jobbers and the JobbersWarehouse.com. Locations in Minot, Bismarck, Fargo, and Aberdeen. It's Jobbers bringing you the move of the game here tonight. Well, to me, down the stretch, the way that Ari Deber shot the free throws tonight, they were the difference in this ball game. In the second half alone, Ari Deemers with seven of eight from the serve pro free throw line here tonight. That would be my move of the game. The way that Ari Deemers shot the basketball. Congratulations on the team award tonight. The move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving In Storage. Time now for the MVP of the contest brought to you by our friends at Sport Clips. Sport Clips where you can get the MVP haircut experience at Sport Clips. Bringing you tonight's MVP. Congratulations, Jace Weekly. Defensively, offensively, he had a great night here tonight. Nine for him, and his defensive game, a two-way game tonight, was big. Sport Clips, where you can sign it online with a hairstylist today. It's Sport Clips, located in Monnet and Bismarck. 47-53. The Knights prevail as the number four seed is in to the semifinals after the victory here tonight. We're going to take a break on our planning team, financial advisor, Shots Crossroads postgame show. We're going to come back and get you set and ready for the matchup between DLB and TGU. It happens next here on the PSP Network. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and SIPC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off, seven, pressure, point, yeah. It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers. Moving in storage. Oh, easy, easy. I think I'm good. You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> oh, it's egg-tastic. You never know what dish you're going to end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded. <laughs> Throwing some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds. Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99, here I come. Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat.
in southwestern and south central North Dakota on any given day at any given moment, a Dakota Community Bank and Trust customer is logging in or signing on to do their online or mobile banking. We believe that community banking can blend both the past with down-home customer service in-house and the future with modern banking conveniences and technology for our customers anywhere, like here or here, all while honoring our long-standing tradition of community-first oriented banking here at Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Getting that perfect slice is satisfying, fulfilling, and rewarding too. But we don't do it for fun. We do it for fresh. Slice to order makes a sub above. Many of our clients come to us already accomplished in their lives and on the right track. However, whether it's in response to a life-changing event or you are nearing retirement, you can sleep well knowing that together we have planned for both life's opportunities and challenges. And no matter what happens, we are here to help guide you. Hi guys, what can I get you guys today? I don't know what to order. Would you like to hear the story of how I learned what to order? That's called a big rig, little lady, and that's the best dead gum meal here at Shots Crossroads. Don't wait just a gall darn minute, Harry. You know darn well the best thing about Shots is breakfast. A 99 is how it's done. You mean a 109? No, I don't. The real pros know that it starts with dessert. No matter what you get, everything begins with a caramel roll. Hey, little dude, the truth is, there's a lot of right answers on this menu. My favorite is the golden crispy chicken strips and crinkle cut fries. Just listen to your heart, and you can't go wrong. Now go make that order, bud. Oh, hey, kid, whatever you do, don't forget the ranch. So what you're saying is, as long as I follow my heart, I can't make a wrong choice? No, kid. The point of the story is order whatever you want. All right. I'll take a big rig, a 99, a 109, an order of chicken strips with crispy fries, and I take a caramel roll to start with, please. Wait, and don't forget the ranch. Do you remember where this goes? <laughs> I don't know. Are you sure it was a clicking and not a zoom, zoom? I think your quash litter bell's stuck. Do you even have insurance? If we soak it, so it should be good. <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle, trust the experts at Tires Plus. Real answers from real mechanics. Inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition. Thinking service, think Tires Plus. But Simon, what about mold? Agent Marlon Old. He holds the world record for fastest mold remediation. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Udoba, Jersey Mike Stubbs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Crestwich Orthodontics, Hub International, 
the UPS store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Bold, Premier Chiropractic, Vibeto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, Serve Pro, PNC National Bank, Shields, Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Love your car and when you get in an accident you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new we're jerome's collision center and when you need us we'll be there for you jerome's collision center find out for yourself DLB and TGU in the final quarter, final matchup. Let's go down to Steve Pinto for the official introductions. And for the Lakers, he's a six foot one junior. Number three, Raylan Fisher. At the forward position for the Titans, a six foot one sophomore. Number 30, Jackson Nelson. And a forward for the Lakers, a six foot three senior, number two, Lila Olsen. At the other forward position for the Titans, for the Titans a six foot three sophomore, number 22, Carson Heyman. And for the Lakers, a six foot junior, number 24, Ty Hughes. The center for the Titans is a six foot six. Number 33, Sage Hansen. And the center for the Lakers. He's a six foot nine senior. Number 14, Marcel Hale. The Titans are head coach by Billy Seawright, assisted by Blake Latin The Lakers are head coach by 
by Chris Brown, assisted by Taylor Jeske, Scott Madellan, and Brantley Brown. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Steve Pino. There you hear the official introductions for this showdown, the fourth of four today here in the Magic City for the region tournament. Region number six. It's been all District 12 so far today. It has a clean sweep so far for District 12 over District 11, and this one could be an uphill swing here today for the Titans from TGU. It's a matchup of a game that took place back on the 10th of January. DLB won by a score of 72-35 on that occasion. Well, let's get set and ready. Carson Yale against Sage Hansen. Thank you, officials. 6-7 against 6-6 on the opening tip. Lakers are in white. TGU Titans are in black. I'm Nick Kohlberg. Thanks for joining us tonight on the PSP Network for Region 6 Basketball. We are underway here from the Dome. Early on, Rylan Olsen takes it there. Put up a shot, no good. Rebound pulled out by the Titans, and they bring it up the floor. Titans have possession here off on the near wing. Comes to Ty Schmidt. He delivers back up where he went into the hands of Johnson. Worked down low. Back away now here to Ty Schmidt. Schmidt jump shot off the window. No good. Back away with the rebound. Ty Schmidt kicked it up top. It's worked around the perimeter here by the Titans. Crashing in. First points of the ball game. Belong to Sage Hansen. And Sage Hansen makes it 2-0 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Thanks again to the University of Jamestown for their support to the PSP Network. Roll at the University of Jamestown. We also want to thank our friends at United Community Bank. We also want to thank our friends at Swenson RV and Marine and Jerome's Collision Center, helping with tournament sponsorship here in 22-23 in this season for high school hoops in the 23 tournament season. 2 0. TGU's got the lead early on. They are the number three seed coming out of district number 11 on a record this season of 10 and 12. DLB receiving votes in the polls. They're at 16 and 6 this year. They've had some losses to some ranked opponents, including two to Bishop Ryan on the year. Played the district championship at the auditorium in Monet just a, about a week ago, and it was Bishop Ryan that took it to. DLB just a bit. Braylon Fisher delivers off here. Runner off the window, no good. Down with the basketball come the Titans and they bring it back the other way down with Johnson. Brooklyn Johnson up top. Kicked away down to Jackson Nelson. Brooklyn Johnson back away. Here to Hanson, inside look on the give and go. Yale shut the door, he says, I don't think so. He's on his way to play at Biden State right here on the same very floor. Yale worked it around up top. Yeastaw sent it down, now it comes back up here where it goes to Rylan Olsen. Went to the elbow, kicked it back upstairs now for Fisher. Sent back over down to Yeastaw. Here's Carson Yale, down on the baseline. Swings it on top. There's going to be a foul coming here. Lance McKeith with Matt Yale and Brian Offort, the officials for the fourth game here today. Three of the best in the business. Jackson Nelson picks up the first foul of the game. Here's Yale crashing forward. He was shut down up top. Downtown, that money ball off the mark. Just missed there for Ryland Olson in the lead. Sits at 2 nothing for TGU. Jump shot blocked inside. Yale's down with it. He delivers off here down to Eastos. He'll dribble it ahead forward. Kicks it up top where it comes away down to Braylon Fisher. Eastos takes the call from Chris Brown, the head coach here of the Lakers. Up top now for Ty Hughes. Open from three land. This would be from downtown. No. That one missed again for DLB. They're just a bit cold to start things off. Just about halfway in to quarter number one here tonight. Lakers still looking for their first points here in this ball game. Deep three coming way downtown. You betcha. Hansen for three. Sage Hansen buries for three. 
And it's a 5-0 lead for TGU on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Around the perimeter it goes down where it comes back up top. Inside Yale, he's hounded in deep. Put back off the glass, Ty Hughes has his first points of tonight's game. Winner moves on to play Ari Demers. Loser season is done. Only one spot available coming on a Region 6 at the State B Tournament. All eight regions of North Dakota underway here today. Underneath the glass. And the putback for Sage Hansen. He's got all the points here for TGU. It's 7-2 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Ball comes back away up top down to the Lakers. They're looking to get going here in this contest. They'll use Yale to do it. He fires. He missed off the three. Brooklyn Johnson up top. By the way, Planet Pizza brings you the opening quarter of play here tonight. Planet Pizza serving the Magic City for 25 years. Largest laser tank playground in the region. Try the both watering pizza and chicken wings at Planet Pizza. I highly recommend the Blue Buffalo. The best on the planet, it's Planet Pizza. Into the paint, ball was stripped. Titans throw it out to the middle again. Now a scrum for the basketball. Away with it, Ryland Olsen carries down. Sends it back up top here. Comes into the hands of Ty Hughes battling, but it's taken again. And Sage Hansen's down with the board. 2.27 to play in the first quarter. TGU with a five-point lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. It's Nick Holberg here on the call from the Magic City tonight. Thanks for joining us. Been a fun tournament season here so far. Just got done with wrapping up the WDA basketball tournament down in Bismarck. We had all 22 games on the PSP network from the event center in Bismarck. Heard of the Midnight Oil. We have the Region 5 tournament on as well down in Bismarck here this week. Todd Dobries. Along with Cole Higlin, Joe Cattell, and Scott Woodmans here on the call. The opening round, then Cole Higlin, Todd Dobries will bring us home for the semis of the championship. Rylan Olsen into the paint. He's going to be hounded and fouled. Cousin Brooklyn Johnson, his second. Brooklyn Johnson picks up his second. In the ball game for the Titans. Ship comes in for the Titans. Into big Carson Yale. Yale puts it up and in. Shows why he is off to play college basketball. 7-4 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Ball comes back away to TGU. Intercepted here. Here comes Carson Yale. Carries down. Yale is stripped on the play. And we go back the other way down for TGU that's got possession here. Not a lot of score again in this ball game. 11 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Yale and company try to change that now. Here comes Olsen with an easy land. And Ryland Olsen lays it up and in. One on the dot to play here in our first quarter. We're going to have a timeout coming on the floor. And the timeout called. Find the full lineup at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck or online, swensonrv.com.
If it's fire damage, Agent Fred Iron. From burnt to unburnt, he does that. Final minute to play here in the first quarter. Region 6 tournament coverage brought to you in part by our friends at Prestwich Orthodontics. Wishing all the teams best of luck here in 2023. Find them online, monatbraces.com. Free virtual consultations and financing options make it easy to take your smile to the next level. It's Prestwich Orthodontics. Jump shot, way downtown, no good. 30 seconds to play, shot clock's off. Comes up to Ty Hughes. Dropped it back here now to Jacob Schaefer. Hughes gets it back up top. Ryland Olsen from downtown, no. Rebound, kicked up top again. Ryland Olsen, 15 here on the shot clock. Hughes tried to spin it down to the corner and tossed it away. Did go off of the hands there of Jackson Nelson. And it will be DLB basketball here with 12 point date to play in our opening quarter of play. East Austin inbound here for DLB. DLB had a loss right before tournament time to Garris, so they hopped up in to the top 10 ranking of the state of North Dakota just last night when that media poll was released. Ball comes up top now here for the Lakers. Dribble drive, move, count it. Jake Schaefer's got his first field goal of the ball game. DLB's got their first lead. It's 8-7 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. The magic of what we do really comes down to combining different aspects of patient care. Here at Premier Chiropractic, we love combining soft tissue work, the adjustment, and exercises together. We found that this gets the best results for our patients. We have three chiropractors to fit the needs of the entire family, a rehab area for our exercises and equipment for any athlete to improve performance. Give us a call and we will get you back to doing what you love. DLB had their first lead of the game in the late portions of the first quarter. And now Braylon Fisher goes up and adds to it. First points of the game for, Frisch, for Fisher. Five scores in the books here for DLB. Only one scorer in the books here for TGU. And that's Sage Hansen, the six foot six ninth grader. He's got all seven here for TGU. Johnson gets it back up top. Brooklyn Johnson sends it off. Here's the jump shot. That mark just missed. Comes back away now, way to the corner. Handled here by Braylon Fisher. Sends it inside. Scrubbing for it, getting his own rebound there. Comes back away now into the hands of Fisher. Look out, there goes Carson Yale. Tried for the slam time, just couldn't pound it home. Expect more of that coming here tonight from the big man, Carson Yale. He's got the ability for some big time slam of jammas. Jump shot, corner, no good. Offensive rebound again. Here for TGU, crashing in off the window, and Yale's gonna commit the foul. And off to the Sir Pro free throw line will go number 20. That's Ty Schmidt. The free throw line, Ty Schmidt. Carson Yale's first, first foul here on DLB. And Schmidt enters the scorebook Ryan as the Sir Pro free throw Ryan line. Charity shot is good. Sir Pro with 24 7 emergency service with trained technicians. It's Sir Pro. 
Second one coming for Schmidt. That missed. Yale reached up and grabbed it. He delivered it off here over to the far side for Schaefer. Eastos works it in. Dribble drive move. Eastos goes up and scores. Paxton Eastos. Single field goals here for Olsen, Fisher, Eastos, Schaefer, Yale, and Hughes. Do apologize, I missed the bucket there. So did Steve Pinnow, PA announcer here. Here's a spin move of the lane that missed. Rebound comes down here to TGU. They've got possession again. Ball's gonna be stripped. Eastost will carry it in. Eastost makes a move, too much on it. Nelson down with it. And Jackson Nelson tossed it off the head. Here come the Titans back over the timeline. Ty Schmidt. Dropped it off to Brooklyn Johnson. Yale one-on-one -on -one here on the near sideline. Went off the hands there of Carson Hammond. But Yale touched and lasted on a play and went. Two-point lead for DLB with 5.33 left here in our second quarter of basketball. Big thanks to Hub International Insurance. Leading North American insurance broker. Business and personal insurance needs its hub. International. Contact Michael Borman or Josh Cattell today at 355 3100. Count the bucket and the foul is going up and scoring. There for TGU was number 33, Sage Hansen. Schaefer is going to be charged with his first. And one. And at the serve pro line, the freshman here for TGU. Hit the back of the rim, no good. Offensive board again for TGU as they've won that board battle here tonight so far. Jump ball, the arrow belongs to the Titans. Does go back to the Lakers, thank you, Jenny. Not exactly sure that possession arrow down on court side, now they change it. Ball comes back away inside. Pass there from Yale. That one's off the mark here for Fisher. 5.05 to play here in the first half. We're tied at 12-12. Well, the most entertaining game we've seen so far here today that had the most tempo, MLS and Velva. 56-51, MLS had the victory in that one. Ryan took down Botno earlier on today, 67-37. That one didn't have a whole lot of flow in that contest either. Then we saw a 53-47 win for Ari Deemers over West Hope Newburg. It's been all district number 12 so far tonight. Ryland Olson carries in. He's going to be fouled. Two shots coming here for the all-district, all-region player. Ryland Olson, the senior. Falls on Brooklyn Johnson. Falls on Ryland. Brooklyn Johnson. Johnson picks up number three. Sends Ryland Olsen to the serve pro strike for the first time here for anybody for DLB tonight. And he hits. Cooper Ship in for the Titans. Cooper Ship will check in. Johnson takes a rest. Ryland Olsen second on its way and it's good. He leads the scoring here for DLB with four. Two-point lead for the Lakers with 4.30 ticking down here in our first half. Ball comes up top now here for Ship. He delivers off back into the hands of Nelson. Underneath, Nelson's going to be blocked. Oh, he's going to be fouled on the play. I was going to be charged on Braylon Fisher. That's number one on Fisher. Number three here on DLB. Second straight year here for TGU back into the region tournament. Took fourth last year in the district. They didn't get into the semifinals last year. 
Jackson Nelson's into the scorebook here for TGU with two from the serve pro free throw line. Tied at 14 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Four minutes ticks down here, first half. Inside for Yale. Double teamed, oh, he was stuffed on the play. Comes back away down to Yale here on the near side, goes down to the baseline, reverses it up, rolls around, and Carson Yale scores. Well, the favorites in this tournament would be DLB and Bishop Ryan. That was the district championship match. 58-42 in District 12's title game. Bishop Ryan won that performance that night in front of a large crowd at the auditorium. These teams both look to get back into that same matchup here this year. Ryan at DLB, the only way it would be possible would be inside the region championship. Ryan's already stamped their ticket with their win by 30 points over Botno earlier on today. TGU looking for an upset victory here. They've got a two-point differential right now as they trail. Runner underneath, put up. That one just missed for Carson Hammond. Here comes Ryland Olson. Olson driving, puts it up too much on it. Rebound again. Guess who? The big man, Jackson Nelson, underneath. And a timeout coming here by Billy Seawright, third-year head coach at TGU. We'll take a break as well. 2.43 to play, opening half. DLB has the lead. Transport is an experienced team of architects and civil engineers committed to achieving the best possible solution for every project. Over the past 20 years, our team has been trusted with jobs big and small throughout the state. From major flood protection projects to county roads, classroom walls, and community spaces. We will be your partner through the initial design to final construction. Trust the Ackerman Estvold team with your next project. TG with the basketball. 2.20 ticking down here, first half. Unable to finish on the far side. Right idea, opportunity was there, just unable to put it home was Cooper Ship. Three on its way, that one missed from Schaefer. TGU with possession. Two minutes left here in the first half. Up it comes now for Yale, lays it up, no good. Rebound, Rylan Olsen. Right there to clean it up, and Olsen has six of the ball game. Under two to play, four point lead, DLB here in the first half. Region tournament coverage brought to you by Jerome's Collision Center, our friends at United Community Bank, Swenson RV and Marine, the University of Jamestown. Underneath, here comes the attempt, this one off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled back away, and we go the other direction now as Ryland Olsen sent it off. Here's Yale, he's blocked. Nelson, the freshman against the senior, and we're gonna have a jump basketball coming here. TGU will get the ball. Chase Crockett in the Lakers. Crockett checks in the sophomore. Here for DLB. 83 seconds to play in our first half. Hang around for our premier chiropractic halftime report. We'll have a full stats recap. Ball's gonna be stripped here. Off ahead it comes, laying it up. That one's in and the points will come for Braylon Fisher. He's got four now here in the contest. Six point lead for DLB over the TGU Titans here at the Dome. Crashing in, putting it up, Nelson. He's denied. Comes away now, Olsen. 
circle, Eurostep move, puts it up and in. And Olsen scores, and he's fouled. Olsen on his way right now, having himself a ball game. He's got eight. The chance for nine on the old-fashioned three-point play as Jackson Nelson picks up the foul. That one missed. Two for three now from the serve pro stripe for Ryland Olsen. 40 seconds to play. First half. Kissing the glass and scoring. Carson Hammond. Carson Hammond puts it up and in. Olsen delivers back over now to Eastos. He sets the offense here for DLB. Two seconds different from the game clock and shot clock. Who touched it last? Going to say it went off of the foot there of Jackson Nelson. Carson Yale back on the floor of the Lakers. Yale checks back into the ball game. East Austin ball. Sends it off to Fisher. A little miscue there, but it's cleaned up and picked up now by Jacob Schaefer. Here's Yale, works it back inside. Yale underneath, puts the reverse up, no good. Ball taken down here by TGU. They need to hurry. Nelson's over the timeline. He'll stop and pop. Deep three, no good. And we're through one half of basketball here tonight to the Region 6 quarterfinals. It's the Lakers from DLB, 22. Titans from TGU 16. Premier Chiropractic halftime report is next. The presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Qdoba, Jersey Mike Stubbs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Crestwich Orthodontics, Hub International, The UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, Bibeto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust. Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, Serve Pro, BNC National Bank, Shields. Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. The magic of what we do really comes down to combining different aspects of patient care. Here at Premier Chiropractic, we love combining soft tissue work, the adjustment, and exercises together. We found that this gets the best results for our patients. We have three chiropractors to fit the needs of the entire family, a rehab area for our exercises and equipment for any athlete to improve performance. Give us a call and we will get you back to doing what you love. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers. Moving in storage. I'm a grateful person on a lot of levels. I've been given so many great opportunities. But most of all, even as a little kid, I was taught a set of values. Like tools for life, hard work, responsibility, 
And the key to making it all work? Commitment. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Ackerman Svold, your neighbors, friends, and family who are working for you. The local team with local availability and accountability for all of your engineering, architecture, environmental, transportation, and land development needs. Your project can rely on Ackerman Svold. Find them online at ackermansfold.com. When you start your project, talk with Ackerman Surveying and Associates. Our experienced surveying team guides you in the right direction with planning, planning, and lot and boundary surveys. The trusted name in land surveying, the trusted name in architecture and engineering is Ackerman Survey and Ackerman Svold. Find them at ackermansfold.com. What you're witnessing actually happens. This is a sad story about bad math. Bad math? Does your online company include mounting? You can't beat the online pricing. When you have the mounting, the shipping, and all the extras, it's just simple math. We guarantee the lowest prices. Our plus plan is simply better, a less expensive way to buy tires. Thinking tires, think tires plus. When you get in an accident, you'd love to get it back as soon as possible and looking like new. We're Jerome's Collision Center, and when you need us, we'll be there for you. Jerome's Collision Center. Find out for yourself. Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. Many of our clients come to us already accomplished in their lives and on the right track. However, whether it's in response to a life-changing event or you are nearing retirement, you can sleep well knowing that together we have planned for both life's opportunities and challenges. And no matter what happens, we are here to help guide you. Good. You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> oh, it's egg-tastic. You never know what dish you're going to end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag-teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded! <laughs> Throw in some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds! Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy! Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99, here I come! Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat.
We look forward to serving you here at your local community bank. The magic of what we do really comes down to combining different aspects of patient care. Here at Premier Chiropractic, we love combining soft tissue work, the adjustment, and exercises together. We found that this gets the best results for our patients. We have three chiropractors to fit the needs of the entire family, a rehab area for our exercises and equipment for any athlete to improve performance. Give us a call and we will get you back to doing what you love. Premier Chiropractic brings you the halftime report of this showdown inside of the Region 6 quarterfinal day here in the Magic City. Premier Chiropractic, ND.com, our family's choice for chiropractic care in the Magic City. The numbers brought to you by Premier Chiropractic. Let's start with the trailing Titans from TGU. They're led in scoring by St. Hansen at nine, two for Jackson Nelson, two for Carson Hammond, and one for Ty Schmidt. They shot 28% with four scores in the books, one three-pointer and a three for five stat line from the Sur Pro free throw line to get to 16. The Lakers shot 31%, 0 for six from the Sur Pro line, or sorry, two for three from the Sur Pro line, 0 for six for three. They had 22 points with six scores in the books, led by eight from Ryland Olson, four for Braylon Fisher. Two for Paxton Eastos, two for Jacob Schaefer, two for Ty Hughes, and only two for Carson Yale in that first half. And I say only because the big man off to play at Bonnet State next season will look to come on glued here in the second half of basketball. Time for our second half. It's brought to you tonight by Planet Pizza. Planet Pizza out of this planet. Proudly serving the region for 25 years with that delicious and mouth-watering pizza. Chicken wings and breadsticks at Planet Pizza. Planet Pizza will deliver tonight. 852-1700. Call and order now. UPS Store also delivers you the second half. The UPS Store located on South Broadway in Monet. For all your packing and shipping needs, it's the UPS Store. Lakers have possession. They start things off here with Braylon Fisher. Spins it inside. Oh, there's Ty Hughes underneath, and he's going to be fouled. Falls on Brooklyn Johnson. Fall on Brooklyn Johnson. That's number four on Brooklyn. And Brooklyn Johnson's going to have to go over to the TGU bench. He'll have to sit in major foul trouble here. Meanwhile, at the Sur Pro free throw line, Ty Hughes 0 for 1 from the Sur Pro stripe. Austin Flowers. He had two of the first half. One field goal for him. Austin Flowers checks in the Titans. Well, DLB will definitely look to get Carson Yale going here in this second half of basketball. Second one, no good for Ty Hughes. Serve Pro 24 7 emergency service with trained technicians at Serve Pro. Fire and water, cleanup and restoration, advanced technologies at Serve Pro. Ball's handled up top here by the Titans. They've got possession here. They spin it back away over to the far side wing where it's set up now by Ty Schmidt. Trying to go around the horn. Nelson's going to have to regather. Make that Sage Hansen, I'm sorry. Hansen, jump shot coming. Oh, that was pure. Sage Hansen's got 11 in the ball game. Sage Hansen. Leads all scorers here. And TGU cuts into the lead. Down to four now, 22-18 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Three attempt on its way. Bounced around front of the rim. Down with it. The big freshman Hansen, and he'll bring it across the timeline. They set it up here. If you haven't already done so, make sure to like and follow the PSP network on all social media platforms. Simple clicking of the like and follow button on our Facebook, follow button on Twitter, Instagram, you name it, and hitting subscribe on our YouTube platform helps us in our mission of promoting local athletes. More likes and follows we have, the more these kids get promoted, and that is our 
overall mission. The PSP Network of promoting local athletes. Four point lead for DLB with 6.23 left here in this third quarter of play. The Laker is back again here at the Region 6 tournament. Good to see him here. Slam time. Hello, Carson Yale. His six point to the ball game comes on the slam of jamma. Get him going here tonight. To, this place will come to volume. 24 18. Big stuff on the other side there for Yale. Then it's taken away. That shot goes up. No good. Rebound. Ty Hughes slams the door. And now we go in the other direction as Yale will carry across. Yale has it here. Rylan Olson off to Yistas, down to the baseline. Yistas goes up after it, then Yale went in for it. Yale ended up on the ground. He couldn't wrangle that rebound. And we go the other direction now here for Nelson. Spun back away. Over to the far side. Take it up top again. Hammond dishes off. Comes down to ship. From the point, Jackson Nelson. Here's a turnaround jump shot. That one off the window. Yale had the rebound, and Yale fires it off ahead here to Braylon Fisher. Coast to coast for Fisher. Waits underneath. Got the bucket and the foul, Ryan Olson. Fouled on the play as he picked up his 10th point to the ball game. Ty Schmidt picks up the foul. That's number one. Here for Ty Schmidt in the second half. He had one of the first for a total of two. Rylan Olson trying to convert to the old fashioned three point play from the serve pro stripe. He missed. Two for four now here in the ball game for Rylan Olson. Up top it comes, Sage Hansen double teamed here. They free it inside. This is Ship. Dribble drive in the paint, kissing the window, putting it up and in. Carson Hammond's got Carson four in the ball game. Hammond. Yale inside. Free get Eastos. Little runner, no good. Eastos after the rebound, pulled out of there. Here by Ship. Ball run forward by the Titans. Down to the offensive side of the floor. Here for TGU. Have it up top. Reverse, no good. Opportunity was there for Carson Hammond, but it's taken out by DLB. Lakers moving around. Yistas has it. And Yistas carries it to the top of the key. Screen was set. Yistas delivers back. Here's Yale. Dropped down to the corner, three attempt, rolled around, no good. Nice effort coming there from Ty Hughes, but the ball's pulled out and tossed forward by Carson Hammond again. Delivering up top, Hammond against Olson. Worked inside, Hansen gets the roll, and Hansen has four now here in the second half. 13 total of the ball game for him. He leads all scorers. Next in line, Ryland Olsen with 12. 13 here for Hansen. Dribble drive move, Ryland Olsen. Right there, right place, right time for Ty Hughes. Towered up and put it in. Six points the difference here in the third quarter. Under three to play. In our third quarter of basketball, Again, Nick Holbert, glad to be here with you on the PSP Network tonight. Again, if you could please like and follow the PSP Network, hit that subscribe button as well on the YouTube platform. We would greatly appreciate it. PSP Network, where it's game day. Ball stripped off a hand here now by DLB. They've got possession, and Ty Hughes will carry forward. Hughes dropped it back. Yista sets it up. 225 ticks down here in the third quarter. Rylan Olsen up top, Hughes, they spin it far side. Schaefer inside, look. Rylan Olsen up and in. It 
and Olsen has 12 now in the ball game. And a timeout on the floor. Eight point lead, DLB on top of TGU. at Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, swensonrv.com. Region 6 tournament coverage on the PSP Network brought to you by United Community Bank, Jerome's Collision Center, Swenson RV, and others that bring you this tournament coverage on the PSP Network. Can't thank all those sponsors enough for helping us with the PSP Network. Yale sends it off ahead. Fisher by himself goes up and lays it in. Fisher has six now in the ball game. 10 point lead. Biggest lead yet. DLB had an eight point lead the first half. Now a 10 look out. Fisher took out Media Row. He knocked the table out of play there. Comes right back to that same spot, saves it again. Then Yale moves it off ahead. Hard into that table he went. They're going to have to move that back into place. Talk about oh, hustle on that play. His first. Gotta like to see it. Ball to be inbounded now here by Fisher. Stop and pop. Yistas rolls around. Then Paxton Yistas. That's his fourth point to the ball game. 34-22 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. DLB's got their biggest lead here with a minute nine ticking down. Titans have possession. They go back up top with it. They set it upstairs where it comes back away here. Three pointer on its way. Count and Sage Hansen from downtown. For three. TGU not going away here in this ball game. 40 seconds now, ticks away. 34-25, DLB with the lead. Here's Yale inside, spins it up. Yale will be fouled. Yale had the slab time early on here in the second half of play. Sage Hansen against Yale, the freshman against the senior. The freshman Hansen has the foul. That sends Yale to the serve pro free throw line. And Carson Yale misses on his first. Yale with six points here in tonight's ball game. Has a chance to make it seven. From the serve pro stripe, he does. Carson Yale is going to check out of the ball game. Olsen will check back in. 10 point lead here with 32.8 seconds remaining in the third quarter. DLB's on top here in this showdown. Semi final action tomorrow. You've got Mohal Lansford Sherwood taking on Bishop Ryan after they both won earlier on today. Ari Deemers awaits the winner of this one here tonight. From the paint, jump shot caught it there as Jackson Nelson puts it in. Six seconds, Olsen step back, three-pointer, no good. Here comes another shot at the horn, that one just missed. 
35-27 at the break. Fourth quarter comes up next. DLB on top on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Shots came to me. Derek and Eric especially had some great drives, you know, which led some great picks. Shout out to them. You know, it feels good. For you to come out here from a defensive effort against Eagle Staff. I mean, you're way smaller than him. Obviously, I mean, how did you get yourself pumped up for that? Well, you know, Coach has a thing that says height doesn't matter heart, and I strongly believe in that. You know, I got the heart, and it doesn't matter if I got the height or not. That line, good luck next week. Yeah, thank you. All right, great job. I don't have the height, but I got the heart. That was a pretty cool sign right there by Jagger Gunville. Back up to you guys. Yes, and now. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of Finrun Sipic. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. One quarter remains in one of these team seasons right now, and it's DLB that leads 35-27 over the TGU Titans here tonight. Ball's going to be stripped there. Nice play from Fisher. He goes up, lays it off the window and scores. Eight for Braylon Fisher. Stick around for tonight's planning team financial advisors and shots crossroads. Post game show here tonight. Love our move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. We'll also have our MVP brought to you by Sport Clips. Got the bucket and the foul, Sage Hansen. He's been a wrecking ball here in this ball game. Yistas charged with the foul. And on Paxton, that's going to be his first. Eight, 18 points here for Sage Hansen tonight. Make it 19, nothing but net. She so goes one for two now from the Sir Pro free throw line here. Lead cut to seven. DLB with the basketball. DGU playing some good basketball. Coming into tournament time. They had a stretch of the season where things didn't favor them very well. They had seven straight losses of their 12 that came starting back on December 20th and went all the way to January 16th. Almost a month of losing and then they've turned it on since then. Coming into tournament time where they get through district number 11. Here's Yale with the ball. He'll crash in, Yale in against Hansen and Hansen shuts the door. Six thirty ticks down here in regulation. Rylan Olsen went up for it. Olsen's going to be fouled on the play. Calls on Ty Schmidt, his third free throw line. Rylan Ty Schmidt charged with the foul. And the junior's got three here for the Titans. Sends Olsen back to the serve pro line. Made his first two, mix, missed the next two, and then he hits that one. Back on the floor for the Titans. Now three for five here in this ball game tonight. Make it four for six. Nine point lead for DLB. Will it be an all district 12 sweep tonight here in the Magic City for the region six boys tournament? Deep three on its way, no good. Yale got the rebound down. He pulled it in. Here comes Yistas with it. Yistas delivers it off here, where he went to Ryland Fisher. Fisher. Braylon Fisher, excuse me. There goes Yale inside, caught the bucket. 
Yale's going to score and he's fouled. Foul was charged on Ty Schmidt. That's number four. Carson Yale missed from the serve pro free throw line. Nine now for Carson Yale. Olsen goes up, lays it up and in, and Ryland Olsen scores. 13 points the difference here with 5.30 left. And TGU wants a full timeout. We'll talk things over. They trail by 13 late to the ball game. If it's fire damage, Agent Fred Iyer. From burnt to unburnt, he does that. Swenson RV and Marine in Monaton, Bismarck, or online, SwensonRV.com. Winner moves on, loser goes home in this region quarterfinal matchup here tonight. DLB has put together a 13 point advantage. Here's a jump shot. This one off the front of the rim. Just missed there for Ty Schmidt. Olsen again. Dribble drive move. Olsen lays it up. Oh, beautiful for Ryland Olsen. Eighteen here for Olsen. Jump shot there that comes off the fingertips. Jackson Nelson, he's fouled on the play. Yistas will be charged with his second. That one drains in as it falls for Jackson Nelson. Three for three for him now from the serve pro line. Make it four for four. Ty Hughes checks back in. Well, can TGU get the stops needed to stop DLB here tonight in this region quarterfinal matchup? We're under five to play here in regulation. Schaefer delivers off here. Comes up top for Ty Hughes. Had the skip pass, came over to Olsen. Olsen guarded heavily here by Johnson. Goes back up top, Eastos. Shot clock's at 10 seconds. Yistas has it here. Yistas dribbles over towards his left, kicks it way up top, way downtown. Schaefer for three. Schaefer for three. Schaefer bangs it home. And it's a 16 point lead for the Lakers. Titans with possession here. They work it up top again, comes back away. Here from Hammond, back into the hands of Johnson. Over on the near wing for Schmidt. Goes back up top on the dribble, it's Nelson. Shot clock's down to one, they need to fire here. They're not gonna get it off. Shot clock is the violation. And DLB's defense comes up big, they shut the door here with 337 left in regulation. The hopes for TGU getting past DLB are becoming slimmer and slimmer now as this game winds down to the final 320. Olsen up top. 
Credit DLB with their ball management here in this contest, looking for the right feeds like that one right there, Ryland Olson. Has 20 in the ball game. Time on coming here for the TGU Titans. They trail by 18 late to the ball game. 306 remains here at the door. Promo. We can get exactly what we want out of the products we need. They've always been ready to help us. The customer service is fantastic. It's just a breeze. Marketing your business is what we do. Go Promo offers unique creative services and online pop-up stores for all your branding needs. Our creative team can get your logo here, here, and even here. Saving you time and money through our warehousing and fulfillment services. When you go with us, you can consider it branded. Located in Bismarck. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Fans begin to file out of the dome here tonight. It's because DLB's got an 18 point lead with three on the dot to play. Thanks again to United Community Bank, Swenson RV, Jerome's, along with our friends at University of Jamestown, bringing you the ball game here tonight. And Region 6 tournament coverage along with many others. Yale sends it off ahead, Eastos goes up, lays it up and in, and Paxton Eastos with his six points of the ball game. Might have just been the nail in the confidence at 20 now. Yale down with the rebound, and Yale will just slow it up here as he brings it across. Off to play up Minot State. Yale bounces it back to Eastos. Eastos has possession here. Goes outside where it comes up top now here to Schaefer. Back to Yale. Then Eastos again, jump shot. Yale underneath. He's blocked on the play. Under two to play here in regulation tonight. Deep three on its way. That one almost from the airport up on North Hill missed. Foul inside. Carson Yell's night's done, so is Olson. Devon Duchesne and Jason Crockett into the ball game for the way. 20 tonight. For Rylan Olson, Carson Yale's going to finish with only nine here in this ball game. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a break as well. 52-32 DLB. Big performance tonight. Oh, easy, easy. I think I'm good. You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> Oh, it's egg-tastic. You never know what dish you're gonna end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag-teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded. <laughs> Throw in some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds. Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99, here I come. Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat. Point lead for DLB. They're going to move on to take on the RE Deemers Christian School Knights tomorrow in semifinal number two. No upsets here in this tournament. Except for the matchup earlier on here today. I shouldn't say that, except for the matchup, RE Deemers. Took down West Hope Newburgh. Oh, Ed and Velva lost to MLS. What am I talking about? That's when you know it's been a long 
couple weeks of basketball and tournament time. We've been going from one spot to the next. Their WDA tournament coverage last week, state hockey the week before, districts and region tournaments. Chris Brown calls a timeout. We'll take the opportunity as well. 113 is all that remains here tonight. Every 10 minutes, three people in the United States will die from a preventable incident. More people are dying on our roadways and in their homes than ever before. But that's where the North Dakota Safety Council can help. Safety is our mission from the workplace to any place. We're a private nonprofit that offers more than 150 training courses that are dynamic, hands-on, and effective. From CPR and first aid to driver safety and even workplace violence preparedness, we want to make sure your loved ones come home safe each night. Go to ndsc.org to see how together we can make a difference. Lakers to inbound the basketball here in the late portions. There's a collision. Will it be an over back? No, it went off a of TGU. With the basketball here up top, Duchesne has it. Kicks it off to the wing now for Rodacker. The subs are in for the Lakers underneath. Rolling around and Jace Crockett gets it to fall. Sent inside. There'll be a foul on the play. Two shots coming here. Jackson Nelson was fouled. Falls on Gunner Jost. To his first. To the free throw line, Jackson Nelson. Nelson's been money from the Serb Pro free throw line here tonight. He's five for five from the Serb Pro stripe. Second one on its way is good. Make it six for six. 47 seconds now to play here in the ball game. Another timeout will be called here by DLB's Chris Brown. Stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore. I'm Brittany. Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off, seven, pressure, point, yeah. It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. I ride Zoom, Spider 2 Y Banana. You don't like that one, okay. I ride 40 Power? No. You don't want that one either? No. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Thirty seconds left here in this ball game. Twenty point lead. They scrub it out. DLB looking for more here in this contest. Big block comes away there from Sage Hansen. Twenty seconds now to play. Off in the corner, another block over the far side. And we're down to fourteen point two to play, but only two seconds remain on the shot clock coming here. Also valuable time for the players on the floor here for DLB Lakers. Season will come to a close here for TGU tonight as that ball goes up and in. James Crockett's got back-to-back -back points. TGU season will come to a close at 10 and 13. Caught the bucket at the end of the ball game there as that one falls in for Ty Schmidt. The final here tonight, 56-36. DLB advances into the Region 6 semis. We'll tell you how they did it. We'll also have our player of the game joining us next here on the PSP Network. Presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, 
Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Qdoba, Jersey Mike Subs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, Minot Hockey Boosters, Crestwich Orthodontics, Hub International, The UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, Vibeto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, Serve Pro, BNC National Bank, Shields, Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. DLB advances into the region semifinals with a 20 point victory tonight over TGU. Welcome into our planning team financial advisor, Shots Crossroads post game show. We're going to hop right into our Player of the game interview. We've got Ryland Olson joining us here from DLB. First things first, how are you feeling after the big win here tonight, man? I mean, I'm feeling great. We all we fought really hard to get back in or get up in the lead, and I mean, we just fought back and finished it. So you have a, a great supporting cast around you tonight. You led all scorers with 20 for DLB tonight. How important is that for you when Carson has a night like tonight, where he only had nine when it was all said and done? Yeah, I mean, well, he was just kind of getting hacked down there. Not a lot of calls from the refs, so just got to take it hard, and that's what I did. So. You guys get into the region semifinal tomorrow to take on our Redeemers, a team that you've had success against this year. What does it take uh, tomorrow night to get a win? We just got to be focused and come ready to play tomorrow right away. So, What does it mean to get back into the region championship? It's been a minute for DLB since yeah. that time has happened. It's been, I mean, it's awesome. It's love being here playing at the Dome. I mean, we just got to, it's just great, I guess. Look to finish tomorrow night. Congratulations, man. Great job. I'll let you go celebrate with your teammates here tonight after a win for the DLB Lakers. That's Ryland Olsen, our MVP of the game, brought to you by our friends at Sport Clips. Planning Team Financial and Shots Crossroads postgame show continues on when we come back to the MSU Dome. DLB wins 56-36 in the region, six quarters. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of Finrun Sipic. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Oh, easy, easy. I think I'm good. You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> oh, it's egg-tastic. You never know what dish you're going to end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag-teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded. <laughs> Throw in some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds. Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99, here I come. Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat. It's time for the Shots Crossroads and Planning Team Financial Advisors postgame show. Now for a look at game stats and analysis. Let's go to the postgame show.
DLB Lakers are into the semifinals with a matchup against the R. E. Deemers Knights coming up tomorrow night. It will be game number two tomorrow of two of the semifinals. Welcome back into our planning team financial shots crossroads post game show planning team financial advisors whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for far more business succession planning team can help you through every step of the way at planningteam.com and shots crossroads can help you fill up on that delicious menu tonight they're open after the ball game they're open for the ball game as well stop into shots crossroads try the banana cream pie team buses are always welcome DLB is in. Our Redeemers is in. MLS and Bishop Ryan make it a clean District 12 sweep of the Region 6 tournament. Botno, Velva, West Hope, Newburg, and TGU have their seasons come to a close here today at the Dome in the Magic City. 56, excuse me, 36 the final here tonight. DLB improves to 17 and 6 overall. 10 and 13 is where the season will end here for the TGU Titans. Let's look at the scoring of this ball game. Starting with the Titans, they had four total scorers in the books here tonight. They only hit two three-pointers, but they did go eight for 10 from the serve pro stripe for their 36. 19 tonight for Sage Hansen. Eight tonight for Jackson Nelson. Four tonight here for Carson Hammond and three for Ty Schmidt. DLB was led in scoring by Rylan Olson, our MVP of the game here tonight. Eight for Braylon Fisher, six for Yistas, five for Schaefer, nine for Yale, four for Crockett, and four for Ty Hughes. DLB had seven scores in the books. They had one three-pointer in the ball game, and they went five from 11 from the serve pro free throw line here tonight. A couple of awards to hand out here in our post-game show tonight. Let's start with our jobbers moving in storage. Move of the game, jobbers moving in storage. Can help you whether you're moving across town or across the country, jobbers Locations of mine at Bismarck, Fargo, and Aberdeen. The board battles for me tonight. DLB dominated on the offensive glass here tonight. To, they did so with the big man Carson, Yale, and company. Everybody was in on it, but they certainly, as a team tonight, their move was the way that they executed on the points in the paint here tonight. That's your jobbers moving in storage move of the game team award tonight for the DLB Likers. MVP brought to you by Sport Clips. Sport Clips where you can get the MVP haircut experience. Sign in online with a hairstylist today. Sport Clips brings you tonight's MVP. Congratulations, Rylan Olson. Tonight's MVP. 20 points leading all scorers in this ball game. He helped DLB in to the region semis. Final score here tonight again, 56-36. One more look at that tournament graphic and what we can See tomorrow action starts at 540 with our Shields pregame show when Bishop Ryan takes on MLS. It's because Ryan took down Botno 67-37. MLS defeated Velva 56-51. West Hope Newburgh, the number one seed from District 11, was upset by number four Ari Deemers 53-47. And DLB just down TGU 56-36. Day one's in the books from the Region 6 Tournament. Day two comes up tomorrow. Hope you join us for full day worth of coverage. We're gonna have a lot of fun here tomorrow at the MSU Dome. Don't forget to pick up a Minot Daily newspaper tomorrow. James Jackson from Minot Daily is here. He's got a full recap of this quarterfinal round here at the Dome. Nick Holberg signing off tonight here from the Dome. Fun day of basketball, all District 12 into the semis. We'll see you for that tomorrow night. Till then, please have a good night and God bless. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Legacy Financial Partners, The Bone and Joint Center, Ask Fitness, Thompson Larson Funeral Home, First Choice Physical Therapy, The Hoopster, KX News, Century Eyewear, 701 Realty, North Country Sportswear, Morelli's Distributing, Qdoba, Jersey Mike Subs, Nathan Stremick Signal Realty, Eyes on Burdick, Chuppy Health, Subway, The Beaupre Law Firm, Minot's Finest Collision Center, State Farm Paul Siebert, 
Minot Hockey Boosters, Presswitch Orthodontics, Hub International, The UPS Store, Planet Pizza, Northern Plains Heating and Air, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, Ackerman S. Fold, Premier Chiropractic, Vibeto Orthodontics, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Jerome's Collision Center, Tires Plus, First Western Bank and Trust, Jobbers Moving and Storage, Sport Clips, Shots Crossroads, Planning Team Financial Advisors, Serve Pro, BNC National Bank, Shields. Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of Finrun Sipic. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more door, huh, Brittany? Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off, seven, pressure, point, yeah. It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot, right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers. Moving in storage. Oh, easy, easy. I think I'm good. You got my good side, right? <laughs> Not too many lights. I don't want to get fried before my time. <laughs> oh, it's egg-tastic. You never know what dish you're going to end up in. My dream dish is a 99. It's so popular. Me and a fellow egg tag teaming with some crispy golden hash browns. Have you seen those hash browns? Those guys are shredded. <laughs> Throwing some diced ham, onions, and melted cheese. Oh, it's a party for your taste buds. Oh, here comes Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. Did you guys get everything that you needed? 99, here I come. Shots Crossroads. It's an excellent place to eat. <laughs> 